All right, we have begun. Let me just put out the final reminders on my Instagram and Twitter. Got that done. Tweet that out. Send now. And also, uh, pause that. Don't want the stream in the background. Even though it's muted, I don't need that extra stream in the background. I don't need that extra distraction at all. Let me make sure my cartoon guy is okay. All right. Okay, he should be properly calibrated. And we will begin in a, a little under 30 seconds. How is everyone doing tonight? Hopefully, you're all doing just fine. I mean, it's a Saturday. It's a time to let loose. Hopefully, you had a nice, long Saturday and just winding down watching me play some Batman. One of my favorite games, in fact. And I'll get into that yeah, once we get past the intro. We're still in the stream countdown, and we're about to close that out. There we go. Greetings, I'm your host, Dr. Wolfula, and welcome to Doc's Game Room, where I live scream all manner of video games, both horror and otherwise. Tonight, I will be playing one of my favorite games of all time, a game with kind of a horror atmosphere, but not really a horror game. It's an action stealth game, Batman Arkham Asylum, definitely one of the best Batman games of all time. It basically legitimized superhero video games. You know, we got some good Spider-Man games up to this point, but Batman Arkham Asylum, Arkham Asylum is basically one of the first superhero game works of art. Like, you know, I love the Sam Raimi Spider-Man 2 game on consoles, but goddamn, the Arkham Asylum was just like that first game where it's just like, oh shit, superhero video games can actually be good. And eventually we got like a really great Spider-Man game, really opened the door for Insomniac games, but yeah, the Arkham Asylum really is just great to this day. Now before I begin playing this game though, just want to let you guys know the Halloween Kills Mega Review, the first video of October this year, has been completed. It's currently in early access, so you can watch it a month early, a month earlier before anyone else, before anyone on YouTube. Just, just right now, link in the description if you're interested. Support the channel on Patreon. You'll get some early access to October videos. And also, you'll get some bonus streams every Sunday night. The tomorrow, this Sunday, I'll be streaming Texas Chainsaw 3D and Leatherface at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time slash 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Not great movies, but, you know, we'll have a fun time ripping them apart, I think. And I'm sure someone will be like, yeah, it's a they're actually pretty good. But whatever, let's begin Batman Arkham Asylum. Now, let me actually get the game active. There we go. Now, let's begin. Actually, let me move the game a bit so I can see the chat better. That should be good. All right, click to start. I like that. Super easy to begin with. Start new game. I don't need to... Well, I do not... I do need subtitles, but I don't need to... Maybe I could... No, okay, that's that's terrible. Let's not mess with the brightness. I'm just going to play on normal. The only difference between normal and hard is, you know, enemies hit harder. I can do a hard playthrough, but the main difference with hard mode is that you don't get the little spider sense symbol over enemies' heads that tell you they're about to attack you. You know, it's it's a bit of a crutch, admittedly, but I just love that. Just and It just makes it so I don't have to... I could just sort of... I could just sort of coast through the game a bit better. I mean, this is a stream. My attention is going to be divided. I swear to God, I've beaten this game on hard mode a few times. Just don't feel like playing it on hard mode during a stream. I just want to take it easy. Chat with you folks. I don't have anything to prove. And Xavier the God says, I seen the Halloween Kills vid and it was good. Well, it's great to have your ringing endorsement, Xavier. Worked really hard on that video. I'm glad folks have been enjoying it so far, and I can't wait to share it with you guys in a month's time. Gotta start work on fucking the next October videos ne next week, though. Got a lot I still need to do. And this is how the whole Arkham franchise begins, with this nice rainy view, nice atmospheric shot. We saw Polly's Diner a little bit back there. I'm going to turn this down a bit because it's a little loud for me. We saw Polly's di Diner back there. I'm guessing it's an homage to Paul Dini, the writer of the first two Arkham games, and pretty much one of the most influential Batman writers of all time, who also co-created Harley Quinn, who appears in this game. 
And I guess he also maybe led to Harley Quinn's downfall with this game. Like, I, I, he might not have had anything to do with, like, the visual choices with Harley Quinn, but I noticed with this game, Harley Quinn started to um, take on some questionable design choices over time, where you just weren't seeing her in that classic outfit going forward after this game. Nicole L says, Horror Month is coming soon, Doc. I know. I have a lot of preparation I still need to do. Now, I'm playing the original 2009 version of this game on PC. I could, I have like the remasters, but I don't really like the remasters because they don't look as good. The cutscenes don't look as cool. They're not pre-rendered, they're actually in-engine, but they just look worse though. They don't quite have the same lighting quality. And also the remasters are 30 frames per second locked. And that's no good. I want to play 60 frames per second. It's great. Really? I don't mind walking. Now, a notable thing about this game that got a lot of people's attention is the fact that <laughs> Kevin Conroy returned as Batman, as well as Mark Hamill as Joker. Two of the best Batman voice actors of all time. Kevin Conroy, I mean, they're basically the definitive Batman and Joker voice. It's safe to say. And it's great, like, Mark Hamill, like, he made, he got a great second act with voice acting. He, like, pretty much defined what Joker sounds like for a whole generation. Like, what from Luke Skywalker to the Joker, that's a pretty good uh, career jump. And now it says, I'm 23. I notice no one trick-or-treats anymore. Um, I think they should still trick-or-treat at the age of 23. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's endearing. And, you know, what's the worst that can happen? An adult says, hey, you, you, you can't trick-or-treat? Like, come on. Come on. And then you, what, what can you do in response? Just fucking egg their house, TP their house. Like, that's what the whole thing is made for. Like, the whole holiday is like, okay, trick or treat. They don't give you the treat, so they get the trick. That's just how it works. It's universal. It doesn't matter if you're an adult or a child. Scan initializing. Now, this early section is basically just a bit of a Batman walking simulator, admittedly. It takes like 10 minutes before you get to actually throw a punch, but, you know, you establish the world of Arkham. You establish, you know, Batman and Joker's relationship. All the characters, you know, you just get the whole story exposition out of the way. Then it's just nothing but sneaking up on guys and beating the shit out of them, it's great. I want weapons on him at all times. Do not let him out of your sight. They'll be Nicole says, I give adults candy on Halloween. Well, that's good. You're setting a good example. People want candy? Give them candy. Like, I don't even understand that mentality of like, oh, how old are you? You shouldn't be trick-or-treating. Like, you know, I mean, I'm not going out trick-or-treating just because I can just buy candy. But if someone is like, I want to put on a costume and get some candy, they happen to be an adult, like, just fucking let them do it. Like, whatever. Who gives a fuck? Romero TV says, I hope Billy Zane stops by. I do too. He always lights up a room. Greg J says, can the Joker 2 musical be like some of the games? Oh man, I forgot they're making <laughs> that Joker 2 movie a musical. I guess that's why they cast Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. I guess it makes sense. Dragon on Coke has a very generous super chat. Hey, Doc, I must say I love your videos so much as it makes every day feel like Halloween. I have a question. If you could choose any monster from any folklore, what would you choose for a horror movie? Thanks for the content. Any monster from any folklore. I mean, it'd be interesting to see a take on that Japanese monster that's basically just a walking ass with, like, an eyeball where it's where it's anus is like it'd be interesting to see that done as a horror movie like what can be done with that <laughs> or maybe just like a horror movie that's just combining all the just fucking ridiculous monsters and folklore like that or like a skunk ape horror movie like just like try to make something called a skunk ape scary to people because like I, I don't know like it's like basically a bigfoot and i guess maybe it smells like shit and it's like in florida but like a skunk ape like when i think that i think of like you know, a primate that's like a hybrid with a skunk or something, but it's not really that as a, at all. Like, 
Honestly, some of the some of the cryptids they have like really cool names, but they're not quite as cool as like the names lead you to believe. Like Jersey Devil, see, it's a cool name. Like, and then you see like the one supposed sketch of what it looks like, and it just looks like a camel with bat wings. And you know, you see some cooler renditions of it, but like just that one main artwork, it just kind of looks like it. Kind of looks like a camel with wings. It's not as cool looking. It looks like Joe Camel, like, just with, like, bat wings. I don't know. And there's Killer Croc. Like, What's it doing? look at the size of this fucking guy. I've got your scent, Batman. I kind of wish we got an actual fight with Killer Croc in the franchise. Oh, well, we do. We got it in Arkham Origins. It wasn't super memorable. I guess we did, though. <laughs> we do We do have, like, a stealth sequence with him later in the game, which is really great. One of the best sequences in the game. But I do kind of wish we got to actually, like, beat the fuck out of Killer Croc in, like, the main three Arkham games. Like, Killer Croc has, like, a cameo in Arkham City. And he also has like a little DLC mission. Well, yeah, I guess you do beat the fuck out of him in that Ar Arkham Knight DLC. Oh yeah, never mind. I don't, I don't remember Arkham Knight and Arkham Origins as clearly as I remember Arkham City and Arkham Asylum, admittedly. And the King of the Fat is a super chat. When you read Batman comics, do you also read the Batman dialogue in the Kevin Conroy voice? Because I do that. Oh yeah, you gotta do it like that. Don't you think it's a little bit same thing with Mark Hamill Joker. It's just the voice I hear in my head. Same thing with Arlene Sorkin as Harley Quinn. She's the Harley Quinn voice. They haven't managed to find a good replacement for her. And this is her last appearance as Harley Quinn, which is unfortunate. It'll get you into trouble. Tell me something. You've never let me catch you this easily. I was a little afraid the straight like the game wasn't actually streaming in the background. I was like, oh no. Still getting to the part where we beat the shit out of people, but I think after this last elevator, this fucking facility isn't even that tall, but it's got a ton of elevators. I think after this last elevator, we're done with the elevators and I'm gonna finally beat the fuck out of people. But, you know, Joker does get choked here, so there's that at least. Stay where you are. Xavier God says, I've only played Arkham Asylum, Origins, and City. Well, you've played all the, pretty much the main ones. Um, I think Knight is pretty, pretty good, but, you know, unfortunately it's hurt by the tank sections, which, you know, I've gotten used to, and they're playable. They're just not as fun as... Yeah, they're just not as fun as, like, actual the actual combat with Batman and the stealth. Like, it was, like, just a no, back. a miscalculation on Rocksteady's part, thinking, okay, Only playing as a tank is gonna be I'll just be fucking awesome. Next time. Here we go. Finally, we're getting the fucking gameplay. We're gonna see fucking James Gordon here. He's gonna sign us in. <laughs> Mr. Impact says, what's wrong with Tara Strong is Harley Quinn. She's fine. Like, uh, uh, well, actually, I do like the um, Kari Walgren voice for the new Gotham Knights game. I think that's pretty good. I feel like she's a good fit for Harley Quinn. But, like, none of them have really gotten close to Arlene Sorkin, unfortunately. Like, I feel like Troy Baker did a good job imitating Mark Hamill's Joker for Arkham Origins. Like, he does a good Joker and a good Batman. But nobody's really come forward and done Harley Quinn. Like, a good impression. Like, they all try to do impressions of Arlene Sorkin, and it's not quite the same. almost without a fight. I don't like it. Howard says, Hangover Part 4 has been greenlit by Todd Phillips. Hell yeah! Hopefully we get a Joker hangover crossover from Todd Phillips. I feel like that's what it's all been building up to this whole time. All right, now Joker's fucking effortlessly killing people. <laughs> I feel like this guy could over, like, could overpower the Joker. Come on. I guess maybe his thinness, his scrawniness might be misleading, but... I feel like anyone can beat the shit out of the Joker. Come on in. I guess maybe that guy was like, oh, thank God, I'm finally going to die. I was planning suicide tonight. To At least this way I could be like, oh, he died in the middle of this prison break. Now let's All right, finally I can fucking destroy dudes. That's what I've been wanting to do all night. For this it's a long walk. Oh, 
I do wish we have the, I do wish I had like the combo takedowns at the start of the game. I like the sequels, they just give you the combo takedowns to begin with. In this game, you gotta earn all that shit. Alright, I get it, Joker. Just let me fucking destroy some more guys, come on. And let them make the first move. Alright. The combo, the combat system in this game is slower than the later games, but it has just a lot more impact to it than the later games, where it really just feels like you're just, much more like you're just fucking breaking people's fucking arms and legs and like cracking skulls open. It's very, it's very satisfying. I'll find a way out. Xavier to God says, has there ever been a bad Joker or Harley Quinn voice? Um... I remember, like, I feel like, I remember the Young Tight, no, not the Young Titans, the Young Justice Joker they had wasn't a super great Joker voice, I think. And, mmm, um, trying to think, who else, who is, I mean, I feel like I've heard some bad Harley Quinn voices. I can't think of them off the top of my head, though. Um, hmm. Of course it is. I do think, I mean, I think uh, Margot Robbie's voice in the first Suicide Squad movie wasn't so great. She's gotten better at it, though, where it's a bit more of a voice. But in the, I feel like in that first Suicide Squad movie, she wasn't really doing a good enough job with it. Sure to follow. Numb Euphoria says, plus this Batman is built like a brick shithouse. That's something I was actually concerned about with this game. Like... How exaggerated everything looked before it came out, where I was like, huh, like it was a little hard to get used to at first, but now I've fully accepted, like, this is like, this is what Batman looks like in a video game. I'm like, yeah, this is, this is it. <laughs> it's like, he's just huge. He's just like, just, just massive. All right. Now, this is a game I can actually play. Like, admittedly, a lot of games I play during streams. Not really the kinds of games. I don't really have to talk to this guy. Not really the kinds of games I normally play, so I'm not great at them. Joker happened. You're lucky to be alive. Oh, shit. That's a really generous Super Chat pickup truck reviews. I love the games, but as a prison guard, I laughed at the high-tech facilities in the, these games. It's so different from the rundown revolving door it's usually depicted as. Which de which depiction do you prefer, Doc? A rundown gothic mansion look or a more brutal-looking facility? Well, this game is like a combination of those two ideas where you have like these like really high-tech sort of, you know, look at these doors. Like these really cool futuristic sci-fi doors and security systems. But that, that, but it's all like built into this gothic mansion, like this mansion that's like a hundred, two hundred years old, like just a really old fucking rundown mansion. Like there's rats everywhere. It's a good combo, where it's not like he's running free. It's just this like cold, desolate looking, futuristic. High, high, high security facility where it does still look like it still has like that gothic personality to it it's just like they've kind of built all this in like the skeleton of this really old mansion like it, it's a great look like i feel like a good it's a good combination um i feel like it's the only w practical way to make it work because like if it's like just a mansion where well, i guess like they did that it used to be in the comics. It was pretty much just a mansion. I, I mean, this game is sort of inspired by the Grant Morrison, McKeon, Batman comic, Arkham Asylum, where it was much more of an abstract, experimental story. This one is more of a conventional take on the prison break idea of Arkham Asylum. But you can still see the influences, but let's take down Victor Saz. You'll see me coming on the ground. All right. Stay up high. These old gargoyles. All right, time to take out Victor's ass. But I do like the combination. Like, you gotta have, like, a good combination just for it to be feasible as, like, a an actual mental asylum, a prison facility at all. <laughs> it still just has, like, this cool gothic quality to it. Especially when you get to the courtyard areas. Someone put this animal back in his cell. 
But yeah, thank you for that super chat, dude. Can you hear me? One of the most generous super chats I've ever gotten. And there you go. There's Harley Quinn. I mean, she's hot. But you could definitely tell this later on influenced the... It's kind of the de-evolution de of Harley Quinn's design. But I do like the fact that she still wears the mask, which is kind of redundant since she does not have a secret identity. It still is like a Harley Quinn sort of look. I, I mean, in this game, at least, it feels like she's just snuck in what she could and just made, like, a makeshift sexy nurse outfit. She doesn't have access to her actual costume, so she's just making do, but later on, they're just like... Yeah, she just wears, like, bondage gear and shit. But yeah, thank you, Pickup Truck Reviews. I really appreciate it. Gonna make my October extra bright. Thanks, man. But yeah, Blasphemous Bird says, Hi, Doc. Happy sa Saturday. We doing a double feature tomorrow at the die-in? We sure are, sir. Isolated it from the grid. Gonna be watching Texas Chainsaw 3D and Leatherface. Not great movies, but, you know. <laughs> well, we'll have some fun. We gotta finish off the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. He's lying. It's just a I don't think we're gonna stream, um... The Netflix one anytime soon, though. You know what? I want to give that some time. <laughs> Just some time to settle before streaming it. Maybe in my Discord privately. I don't know. Let's see. Eclipse says, Have you seen the Harley Quinn show, Doc? I have. And, you know, I've I've seen bits and pieces of it. And I think it's... What I've, what I've seen, it's a good take on a Harley Quinn show. But, you know, I, I'm, maybe I should give it more of a shot. But it's not something that has caught my... Sorry. I yeah. as much. Alright, Riddler Trophy. Now, that's a thing in this game that will be... Well, okay, it'll be set up later, essentially. But you can collect Riddler Trophies as an optional thing. And you can unlock... It's part of the 100% completion of this game. And you can unlock, like, you know, character trophies and extra challenge maps and stuff. If you collect those trophies, it's fun. In the first game, this first game is the best suited for Riddler trophies. They kind of become a little too tedious in the next games, the open world games. I mean, they're still fun. It's just like, there's just so many. In Arkham Knight, it was just the worst to me, though. Like, oh, God, it was the worst to 100% complete. Such a pain in the ass. Ugh. But yeah, I feel like this game did the best job with the Riddler trophies. To me, I feel like the Riddler trophies should have been kept as a thing that's inside buildings, like the levels you go into and not out in the open world areas. Just because it just gets really sprawling. Just keep it a little more simple. But I guess otherwise there just isn't a lot of stuff dotting the open world landscape. It's kind of a, it's a flaw with open world gameplay. It's like, there's just, you gotta have, like, a lot of extra busy work and shit just to fill out the world. It's not, it's just not, you know, it, it's stuff that if I'm super into a game, I'll delve into, but it's something I usually try to avoid. AJ Benton says, I still haven't found the Arkham Knight Riddler trophies. They're a pain in the ass. I eventually did it on my piece, on my last PC playthrough of the game. Just got it done. Just did it once, just because, I mean, the annoying thing about the Riddler trophies in Arkham City and Arkham Knight is you have to collect them all in order to, well, I, I mean, they're worse in Arkham Knight because you have to collect them all to finish the story. Like, to get the final cutscene, you have to fucking collect all the Riddler trophies, and it sucks. It's not fun, like... It's like, it's nice as just this extra thing you can collect, but... Telling me I have to collect hundreds of these trophies and solve all these riddles, like, just to get the last cutscene in the game, it's bullshit. It sucks. Like, it should just be an extra thing you can do. But not like, okay, you gotta have this closure. You gotta collect. It's, it's imperative that you collect all of Riddler's plastic trophies. All right. Xavier the God has a super chat. Doc, the good Spider-Man games are two ultimate friend of foe, edge of time, shattered dimensions, and web, web of shadows and PS4. I agree with that list. I mean, I haven't played all of those, but you know. I mean, 
but the original game on Dreamcast and PlayStation, that was good. That was a good game for its time, and so was the uh, original Xbox, PlayStation 2, Spider-Man game, the, the first Raimi one. It was cool when they went open world with the second Raimi Spider-Man game, but you know. I still... Still love the earlier Spider-Man, the, at least the 3D ones. I feel like Spider-Man is a character that only really works great in a 3D environment. The 2D Spider-Man games, it's just not quite as good. Now, this is basically a setup for pretty much the only type of boss battle in this game. Boss battles are a weakness in this game. They're all basically these hulking, these hulking, like, mutated steroid not banes that you have to hit with a batarang and then avoid shots with this ba boss battle though you don't even have to hit him with the batarang it's just something you can do you don't even have to hit him at all it's just eventually you'll win he'll like get knocked out it's basically just a tutorial for these types of boss battles just like jump out of the way Arr! and then punch him they're not great bosses and eventually they just kind of became integrated as just regular enemies in the second game. Like, they're not even boss battles anymore. They're just like, another thing you can fight in crowds. I feel like they've gotten better at boss battles. Admittedly, Arkham Origins was kind of on the weak side, but the boss battles were definitely the best in the series. Of course, Arkham Knight barely has any boss battles, any real boss battles, so it was a huge downgrade. Um, like, it's so, it's bullshit, because, like, the Deathstroke fight in Arkham Knight, it's just a tank battle. Like, it's just fucking terrible. Whereas the Deathstroke battle in Arkham Origins was fucking fantastic. You've, like, beat the fuck out of Deathstroke in person. It's too early in the game, though. It's way too early in the game to be fighting Deathstroke. And greetings, Vanessa! So lovely to have you this evening, watching me play Batman. Hopefully you're having a great evening yourself. Knock me off! I dare you. End this! Pull the plug! Stop me once and for all! Okay, let's watch Batman kill Joker finally. Uh, oh, come on, Batman. Just do it. He's gonna die in the next game anyway. Spoiler alert. You might as well. I mean, come on. Oh, well. Yeah, I wonder I wonder what that whole it's like basically the Monsters Inc. headquarters like there's just this whole extra fucking gigantic facility inside where they store all these like extreme patients Xavier the God has a super chat the 2D spider game with Venom and Spidey is fun okay I do remember there was one on Genesis. Actually, it could have just been a Spider-Man X-Men crossover game, though. Special combo throw. Yeah, that's the first one you can unlock. I'll take the hit. But what I really want is combo takedown. That's, like, invaluable. And then after that, I want the five times combo uh, boost. That's what I want. King of the Fat is a super chat. Should there be Batman Halloween crossover comic where Michael Myers is transferred from Smith's Grove to Arkham Asylum, where he then escapes and kills people in Gotham and Batman has to stop him? It would be cool. I feel like it's something that would have happened in like the late 2000s, early 2010s, but at this point, they don't really make Halloween comics, but I'd love that. That'd be a cool thing. I mean, I want more Halloween comics in general. One of the ah, October videos I'm planning to do and I'm hoping I have enough time to do, is a guide to all the Halloween comics. Essentially, the... You know, they released a pretty good run of Halloween comics for a time, and then they just suddenly stopped and just, like, explore the storyline, the H2O timeline storyline. just want to... I've been wanting... I've been meaning to make that video. Hopefully, I'll have enough time. I'm going to see how things go with the other main videos I'm working on this month. Yeah, I should have enough time, though. I should. I should. And if not, I'll just, like, s sneak it in, like, in November and just be like, yeah, this is just something I wanted to do in October, but I didn't have enough time. <laughs> Mackenzie has a super chat. What's a horror franchise that is long overdue for a video game? I'm hoping for a Tremors game with Michael Gross doing the VO. Um, I feel like every horror franchise now is getting a game. Like, even Killer Clowns is getting a game. All right, now, which thing am I I'm supposed here. to press? I know you're over there. I guess just... Oh, I guess talk to him. I forgot about that. 
I dragged Jerry. But I feel like an issue is that every horror game, I mean, every horror franchise is getting a game now, but they all are essentially um, asymmetrical multiplayer games where, like, one player plays as, like, the killer and, like, other players play as survivors. So you'll probably get a Tremors game at some point, but it'll be, like, a thing where one character plays as the Tremors and, like... Uh, the plays is like the fucking worms and then the other character the, the tremors yeah that's what they're fucking called and the other players play as the survivors it's probably what'll what'll happen which isn't that too bad is isn't that bad of a thing i think really we'll see Ta -ta. oh i forgot to say but it would be cool to see batman and michael myers fight back to king of the fats super chat it would be cool i always felt like michael myers was kind of like a slasher version of batman i don't know i kind of got that sort of vibe to him even though there's not really that much of a connection i just felt like michael myers was kind of like strong silent dark brooding slasher icon that's just in control of the situation always i should go back to the holding cells very durable very smart like just a just a thinking man's slasher villain at least in the right hands. In other people's hands, he can be a bit of like a Jason Voorhees clone, which is kind of ironic. Just a lumbering brute. He's got your father. Dad. Don't worry, I'm getting him back. Okay. Something I do miss, I miss Oracle, I'm getting him back. the original Joker voice of Oracle I won't in the first two I'm Arkham games. Taken. A Not a big fan friend. of her voice in Arkham Knight. On your Bruce, hurry, please. It's the same voice actress who plays Daisy Fitzroy in Bioshock Infinite and Ashley Williams in Mass Effect. I feel like maybe they got rid of her voice just because they were like, uh, we want to go with a more younger sounding, more vulnerable voice actress. I feel like I'm not going the right way. Okay, let's just, luckily there's a map. Okay, I got to go the other way. Luckily, this game's got a map. Yeah, that's the way I came originally. I gotta go around this corner first. All right, around the corner. Scott Miller says, are you looking forward to the Cape Crusader cartoon if ever it sees the light of day? From what I heard, it's still being made. It's just not gonna be on HBO Max. And it's just like, which is so pathetic. It's like, just, it's just like, okay. It's like, they should be making people like excited about big changes to the corporate structure like we bought this company we're gonna be like we're we're gonna be making some big changes that are for the fans like making everybody happy like getting people on on your side instead they're just like okay we gotta make some budget cuts we gotta cut down on stuff where it's just like where you're like we can't make a batman cartoon so we're just gonna send that off somewhere else uh, yeah, it's just a little pathetic, I think. All right, let's find the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Frank Bowles loves his liquor. But Xavier to God has a super chat. Doc, would Batman kill someone to pervert, to pervert them? To prevent them from turning into a zombie, or would he let them turn and then kill them? Well, he seems to kill Solomon Grundy who's a zombie in Arkham City. Seems to have no problem killing the undead. Like, he's got no issues with it, it seems. So he probably would wait until they became undead and then take them out. That's what I would think, at least. That might not be the case. Now, I noticed there are some, like, weird frame rate issues. I feel like the Arkham games on PC are not super well... Super well, um optimized unfortunately because this is an old game this should not be frame rate issues and i got like a pretty high-end pc too i don't know What's going on? just like walking down running down hallways is just like a little bit of a judder <laughs> but you know i'm not a big fan of harley quinn becoming a bit more of a care i feel like maybe they've winded it down and made it less of a thing but sh starting with this game it felt like she was a character where it's like okay we need to give <laughs> We need to give fans of the franchise a character they can jack off to, or it's just like, I don't know. It's just, it's just like such a huge departure from 
the way the character first looked. Or <laughs> it's like she had like a sexy outfit, like but it wasn't that over the top. I do miss Arlene Sorkin as Harley Quinn, but this is a good final performance of hers. I, I guess she left the franchise just because she felt she was getting too old to do the voice still. And you can kind of, you can tell in this, in this first Arkham game that her voice was getting a little haggard. She could kind of make it work for the most part, but sometimes you could tell. Uh, like with Joker and Batman, it's fine because you can tell like Kevin Conroy's voice has changed as Batman over the years, but it's to the benefit because Batman is supposed to sound like He's supposed to have a haggard gravelly voice like if you go back and watch like the first episodes of Batman the animated series You know, it's it's nowhere near as harsh and gravelly as it is in this game But it's to the benefit because um, you know <laughs> He's Batman. He's supposed to be gravelly the gravelier the better and the same thing with Joker where like you know he's much more gravelly but you know it it, it works because it's also much more grittier take on Mark Hamill's Joker there was more of a smoothness to the earlier Joker performances of Mark Hamill but it works like because Batman gets grittier so you know the characters are gravelier but it kind of is fucked up for me to think that I looked at, like, the official age of Batman in this game, and he's, like, 34. Like, that's fucking crazy to me. Like, what are you talking about? This this guy's 34? I, it must have been, like, a tough 10 years being Batman. Anyway, let's keep, let's keep moving. Okay, there should be a ledge. There it is. It's, like, just... Like, this guy's, like, he's rough. Like, and it's always so fucking weird when they show Bruce Wayne in these games, because he just looks like... He looks like just fucking hell. Like, <laughs> just like, where it's like, wow, this this guy's not aging well. All right. Tevia Smolka says he's not 34. Well, in the first, oh wait, I, I think maybe 38 or 30, I don't know. I could have sworn because like in the first Arkham game, it's like in his mid-twenties. He's essentially in his mid-twenties in the first Arkham Origins game, and that takes place ten years before this game, so... He's like, I, I don't know, like, in my head, Batman is a guy in his, like, at this point, he's like a guy in his, like, mid-forties, maybe even late-forties, like, you know, he, but, I don't know, the new 52 really fucked up Batman's aging, where he's like, you know, he's gotta be, like, 30, we wanna make him young, so... We have to condense his whole history within five years, where he's got, like, he's gone through, like, three or four Robins at this point, <laughs> like... And he's super young, like, I don't know, it's just... Ugh. It's gotten so mixed up. It's just not... Eh, I'm not a big fan of that... Aspect. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, wait! Oh, they fucking... Oh, shit, I forgot I don't have the combo takedown yet, I got the throw. The fucking useless throw. I'm glad they got rid of the throw. It's kind of just nice as like a little flourish. You throw a guy, but it's like it's not great. How's it going? Any sign of dad? Not yet, but I'm getting close. Harley Quinn tried to. Like, let me dad. look. Let me look. I mean, did it work? I'm gonna look it up right now. Not. Figure out Batman's age in Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight. Batman. Age. Okay, well, I looked it up and it just told me the age of the game itself. Yeah, I'm seeing it confirmed by Arkham Knight. He's 35. Like, because he's apparently 25 in Arkham Origins, and it takes place 10 years later. So I don't, I don't fucking know. It's, it's weird. I, I feel like, though, they don't really think about the age that much, though. Because he's like, he looks like a guy in his fucking mid-40s, like... This is an old Batman. This is a Batman who's been Batman for 20 years. Like, that's what I think. It's just like, I don't know, when you look at, like... Yeah, he's apparently fucking 35. I don't know what... <laughs> All right. XX says, ah, October around the corner. You know it. Starts on October 1st. Got the first big video done. Oracle. 
Joker's men have taken control of the cell block transfer corridor. That's not good. I patched into a guard radio. It sounds All like right. the got their hands on weapons. Now we're introduced to the stealth I'll element of the game. Vision mode to isolate armed henchmen. Admittedly, my favorite aspect of the game is the combat, but these games have great stealth too. To me, I love the thing I love about this game is that they didn't try to get overly ambitious, where they're like, we're going to give you the Batmobile, we're going to give you this open world Gotham, we're not going to do any of that bullshit. We're just going to try to focus on having Batman in this constrained place where we can master his abilities, like master his combat and his stealth. Keep it simple. Don't make it too o overwhelming. Like, just focus on nailing Batman. And then we'll focus on making all the other stuff work. Adding all kinds of other gadgets and stuff. Like, his gadgets in this game... He's got, like, the bare basic gadgets. Like, he's got the gadgets you expect. But, like, he gets a lot more gadgets in the sequels. They keep it simple in this game. I mean, to start out, you just have the Batarang. Like, he has this whole utility belt. Apparently, he only packed a Batarang. And it could be explained that he, um, he might have, like, depleted his gadget supply on his last case, taking down Joker and bringing him here. But, yeah, he just showed up to this fucking diehard situation with just Batarangs. All right. All right, finally, we're at the first Predator sequence. All right, I do kind of miss in the Predator sequences in this game, the hostile enemies, they have red skeletons. In the later games, they made the skeletons orange. I, I miss the red skeletons in the detective mode. And that's actually a big aspect of this game detective mode it allows you to basically get an x-ray view of everything apparently though this game they weren't they didn't anticipate detective mode being as useful as it was uh, apparently a lot of people play this played this game with detective mode always on and you're really missing out on like a really great game like this game still looks great to this day like it it's like just it's aged very well. This game is 13 years old. Like, if you compare, like, it's sort of crazy to think. Like, um, a 13-year-old game when this game came out was, like, Super Mario 64. So it's just, like, amazing, like, seeing this 13-year-old game. And it's, like, still great. It's still great looking. But this guy's, like, yeah, he's, I don't have the, uh, the vantage point takedown. So I just gotta take him out with a fucking... Batarang. I don't really have a good vantage point to take him out otherwise, but luckily the room is cleared out, but more guys are on the way. Alright. But yeah, after this game, it felt like they really... They really made the detective mode a little less useful in this game the tech detective mode is like pretty crystal clear in the later games they added kind of like a sort of some filters to try to discourage you from being in detective mode all the time like also like audio filters that make it sound really distorted where it's like okay i don't want to play this game all the time with all this fucking bullshit in the background and covering the screen like in this game though it's just crystal clear you just have this purple this purple sort of filter over it all right let's figure out a guy i want to take out first i'll take that out that guy okay probably not a good idea but he didn't see me thankfully all right yeah he's yeah he didn't hear me fucking ruffling up that paper wow <laughs> terrible hearing apparently all right, let's see where this guy's going. Oh, thankfully, he's going around the corner. There we go. Now, stealth is pretty simple starting out, but you get a few more gadgets. I feel like the later games give you a lot more fun stuff to do during stealth, but in this game, you get a few things you can use against guys in stealth mode. But starting out, you pretty much just... You just sneak up on him and just choke him. I'm assuming he chokes him to death. Let me see. Um... Nope, just okay, unconscious. 
I like to think he chokes him to death, though. My Batman kills. All right, let's see what we get next. All right, finally, special combo takedown. One of the most useful upgrades in the game. And then after that, oh boy, special combo boost. My favorite upgrade. Let's you use combos super often. Just don't have to wait till eight times combo. You can just fucking do it. Do it at five. That's what I like to see. I was tracking Gordon. Officer Bulls trails. Oh no! Officer Bulls! My favorite character already dead! No! I feel like it would have been kind of funny to see Officer Bulls in um, Arkham Origins. Just see, like, characters that died in this game. Get to know him a bit more. Alright. Now we're introduced to Riddler. Tevya Smolka says you forgot inverted takedown. That's also very useful, but I don't like to get that right away just because it makes stealth a little too easy starting out and also um, also it makes noise which you know, like draws the enemies to wherever you do the inverted takedown. But it is very useful later on when, you know, you have more complicated stealth sequences. But be careful. Don't cut yourself on this sharply observed portrait. Hmm. Don't cut yourself on the sharply observed portrait. Ha, huh. there's a portrait here depicting Quincy Sharp, the future mayor of Gotham and current warden of Arkham Asylum. It's a portrait. His name is Sharp, and it says sharply observed portrait. Um... All right, I'll, I, it's probably not the answer, but I'm going to take a chance on it. Oh, wow! Okay, that's cool. Awesome. King of the Fat says, Doc, how would you write the Batman versus Michael Myers story? I mean, the easiest way to do it is there's been a, there's been a prison transfer from Smith's Grove Sanitarium, and Michael Myers is being sent to Arkham Asylum. And he's, he eventually breaks out and they just have Michael Myers on the loose in Gotham City. Or maybe it could just be like something where he's just on the loose inside Arkham Asylum. But more likely, it's just a Halloween story. And maybe you can also reimagine Michael Myers where he could be more of a Batman villain kind of guy. It was a Not so much a slasher villain. Walking in telling everyone to cover the front entrance. Said something about Joker's army coming through the main gate. Two of my guys moved to the exit, and Frank shot... But it could be an easy way, easy story to set up, at least. Was Bulls alone? Just because, you know, he... he Michael Myers, he's like, you know, already... He's already got that mental asylum sort of background, and Batman's big on mental asylums. I got in here, locked the door. I could see it on the security feed. They had someone with them. It looked like the commissioner. King of the Fat says... You think instead of greeting cards, the Riddler in the Batman should have sent Batman trophies? Yeah, I feel like, I don't know. It's a missed opportunity. At least have one Riddler trophy, or at least make the movie about Batman having to collect Riddler trophies. It's like, Gordon, found a tip about another Riddler trophy. The riddle involves me throwing three Batarangs in a row, and then I collect the trophy. I mean, it's not very challenging, but some of the other ones are pretty challenging. But, you know... He, Kind of tedious, though, like, but, you know, I, they can't all be winners. Not all the riddles can be winners, okay? It's just how it is. All right, I can't wait till I get the bat claw, because I don't really like pulling off the, gr pulling off these, um, these vents myself, like, just with my bare hands, like some kind of animal. I like to use the bat claw to do it. I do miss the Bat Claw upgrade you get in this game. Like, they didn't bring it later, I guess, just because it, it would be too overpowered. But, like, later in the game, you can get an upgrade to your Bat Claw that can just, like, rip walls down. Like, just so cool. This is the only game where they have it. I guess it would make, like, something like the Batmobile under... Like, just not useful. Where it's like, Batman could just rip walls down with a fucking... <laughs> with a fucking grappling hook, apparently. Why does he need this Batmobile to do that? Like, 
Eclipsis says, will you be playing Gotham Knights? Oh, I'm definitely going to get it, but it does not look anywhere near up to the same quality as these Arkham games. From what I've seen, the combat just does not look as good. The stealth, the same. Like, it just looks very, you know, just a little sloppy. Just a little more uh, generic AAA kind of game sort of thing going on with that. But, you know, I'll still play it because I, you know, I love Batman. Even if that game doesn't have Batman in it, you know. I'll probably play as Nightwing. And, you know, like the visuals in the game and the costumes and everything, it just, it looks a little goofy on the more goofy side. Disable the Batmobile's countermeasure system. I saw the alert. What's wrong? Where are you? I'm outside. Takaho says Batman Souls. Yeah, this does kind of look like a Souls Souls game. Like. Okay, done. The Batmobile. But I love the way fucking Arkham Asylum looks in this game. It's definitely the best environment out of all of these games. Like, you know, Gotham City and Arkham Knight and Arkham City and Arkham City. Like, you know, they're very cool worlds, but. This is just brimming with atmosphere and just, I don't know, it's just very cool. The Return to Arkham version of this adds rain, because I guess they originally wanted rain in this game, but they couldn't make it work engine-wise, I guess, uh, or they didn't have enough time to implement it. So if you see in the opening cutscene, it's raining, but then once he gets out of the asylum here, I guess it stopped. It looks like a very clear night where it wasn't raining at all, so I don't know. And I love how gigantic the fucking moon is in this game. Like, it's huge! It's, like, bigger than the sun in the sky. Like, it's just... It's... It's a fucking gigantic moon. Like, anyway, I'm... Where am I going? Okay, yeah. Heading to the Batmobile. And I love how starting out... Like, the, the riot hasn't been hasn't progressed that far yet so you still see guards like just patrolling arkham asylum it you still get the sense that they're they're they got this under control but then eventually um things get out of hand <laughs> and they completely lose control and eventually it dwindles down to you're basically one of the few survivors left in arkham asylum they've just taken almost everybody else out that's a friendly Victor Zambrano says, Fun fact, you can finish this fight faster if you let him hit you until he dies automatically. Oh, I think he's, like, back when I was doing that boss battle. Victor, you're a little behind. But I never knew that, that you... That he won't even, like, he won't even kill you. I never knew that before, that that... Titan, that first Titan henchman can't even kill you in the first fight. At least supposedly, I don't know. I haven't tested that. Aw, oh, shit, I fucked it up. I want to use the combo takedown. I keep forgetting I don't have the five times multi multiplier boost yet. There we go, that's what I like to see. Oh yeah, batarangs aren't useful yet. I gotta upgrade my batarangs before they actually become useful in combat. They're just good for, like, knocking out guys who are unaware of them. Now... I'm honestly not a huge fan of the design of the vehicles in the, this game. You don't, like, control the Batwing or the Batmobile in this game, but you do see them. And, you know, I, I guess I guess the Batmobile is okay. It just looks a little too much like an action figure version of the Batmobile. But, you know, it still kind of has sort of a Tim Burton Batman look to a Batman the Animated Series look, but it just looks a little too much like an action figure playset version of the Batmobile, though. But anyway, let's get this. What is this, Pulp Fiction? All right, let's get the briefcase. Uh, okay, no. All right. Harley trash the car. Xavier de God has a super chat. Doc can Blade kick your, your butt? Oh, yeah, of course. Wesley Snipes could just kick my ass. It doesn't have to be him as Blade. Just be Wesley Snipes, like. <laughs> Strange. This is Gordon's pipe. Barbara gave it to him. There's no way. It's so weird that Commissioner Gordon canonically smokes a crack pipe. Gordon's smarter than he looks. Left me trail to follow. All right. Oracle, I found a pipe. It has your father's initials carved on it. It was a birthday gift I gave him last year. There's no way he'd leave it. Exactly. He's left me a I mean, this is a life and death situation, Barbara. 
He might drop it. I don't know. There's no way he would drop his pipe. You know. Anyway, I got this Riddler trophy. I'm not going to be collecting all of them. We're not, I'm not going to be doing a playthrough and we're like, okay, I got to make sure I get all the Riddler trophies. But if I see him, I'll pick him up. Alright, where am I headed next? Okay, locate Gordon by... Tra oh, yeah, yeah, we're doing that bullshit. This is the closest to detective work in this game. You follow... You essentially just follow trails in detective mode. Security doors are locked. I don't really need this, though. I I just know where to go. I've played this game so many times. Fucking do this. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like, okay, I gotta look at this trail. Alright. This is... I mean, this doesn't really make sense, though. Like, what's the point of this route? Like, it just leads to a brick wall that Batman can blow up, but, like, there's, like, a door here? Like, okay, whatever. <laughs> It's just our pointless room, our empty brick wall room, you know, we just have it. Xavier the God says, What's your favorite Batman movie, live action and animated movie? Mine is The Dark Knight and Under the Red Hood. My favorite live action Batman movie, it's gotta be, I mean, honestly, I mean, it's cliche, I know, but it's gotta be The Dark Knight, just because, I mean, it's just, it's just a great movie, like a great action thriller film like you know it's just fucking solid and a great take on joker like just you know but as far as like best batman movie as far as like well actually no part of me is like thinking maybe robert pattinson's the batman matt reeves the batman though at this point because i do like the atmosphere of that movie and it feels like it has more fidelity to the source material and it's hard to say though because like I don't know. Like, it's just hard for me to choose, though, because I love The Dark Knight, I love The Batman, and I love Batman Returns. Like, they all give me different things. Like, I feel like Batman is just one of those things where it's just so versatile, and you can get so many different things out of it, where it's just hard to kind of choose. It's just based on what kind of mood you're in as far as what kind of Batman story you want. It's, it's just hard to make a choice but my favorite animated batman movie is easily mask of the phantasm like yeah that's just a it might even be my just my favorite batman movie in general like overall it's just a really great animated film just a classy effort even though it was just made to essentially sell more action figures same thing with the animated series in general like they prove that you can sell action figures and also just make a great fucking artistic triumph at the same time they really prove something and you know of course nobody really uh took that to heart unfortunately but it is what it is all right where are Oh, yeah. Well, okay. I still gotta go through that door. I'm, like, jumping ahead. I guess maybe I can skip, but let's just go through the door anyway. Whatever. Peter Marr... Peter Marr says, No love for bat nipples? You know, if I'm feeling, like... Feeling kind of horny to see some bat nipples... <laughs> I'll watch Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, I guess. <laughs> Man, that is a low-cut skirt. Damn. I can never stay mad at you. I don't know why I'm watching this. You'll have to find another way. Yeah, yeah, I know. I gotta find another way. Let's just keep moving. No way past the C Dub says Pattinson was okay, but it was too long. The movie has like three endings. That's something I found I like I didn't like the ending originally, but it's something I ended up appreciating later because i realize it's the kind of ending you have to a comic book like essentially where like in the comics it doesn't end with like this definitive ending like it's like an ongoing story where it's like okay we beat i beat the villain or at least incarcerated the villain and like have contained things to a certain degree but like gotham city is still like still needs me like it's still like just <laughs> 
and there's like and it sets up like a new story that needs to be told like i don't know it just felt like a comic book ending where it's like okay there's still more story it's still going doesn't have like you know this great sense of closure or anything but you know it's just like okay yeah just gotta just gotta read the next issue to find out what happens next essentially which you know doesn't quite work as well in the context of a movie but you know Faust Doodle says, this game has my favorite Harley Quinn outfit. I love that nurse outfit. I do think this game has my favorite Arkham Harley Quinn. Like, I like the design better than the ones that came after. Like, you know. I, I Okay, this just leads me to a Riddler trophy. At least I got it. Just some extra experience points. Buy me some more upgrades. Not fucking collecting all of these, though. There we go. Here we go. Get off of me. Get down there with the others. All right. Okay, okay. I hear you. Time to save these doctors, because I'm a doctor myself. I've got to save them. I gotta look out for my fellow doctors. And yeah, starting out these stealth sequences fucking piss easy. Like, look at that. Like, just there we go taken care of. I do like the kind of out of focus, how out of focus the background becomes when you uh, are taking out a guy. Like, it looks really cool. Anyway, take this guy out in a more explosive fashion. Like, mix things up a bit. Oh yeah, I forgot you don't detonate with the control stick in this one. Alright. Now we're down to... Okay, well I guess I should have waited so I could take out that one guy who was here. Hopefully he Hopefully he comes back. Alright. Yeah, I don't really have a whole lot going for me starting out. I just got the battering and that explosive gel. I mean, hopefully one of those guys go over there. I mean, the sonic battering is also a useful upgrade because you can just control where these guys go and set up traps or just separate them. That's definitely an upgrade I need to make sure I get. All right. Um, yeah, I guess that guy's a safe. Uh, I don't know if I want to risk it yet. Oh, shit. I could have fucking put the gel right there. Taking that guy out. Though that's more for like a Riddler vantage point trophy thing. That's there. I guess I'll show it off once I take out this room. Clear it all out. All right. Do okay. Yeah, okay. Got the room taken care of. Man, it's so weird how they don't like just stick together. All they have to do is just stay in the room with the doctors. They're like, okay, let's fucking fan out and look for Batman. <laughs> Risk losing our hostages. Just the worst henchman ever. Something I do miss, I do miss a lot of, like, little things that are in Arkham City compared to this game. Like, in Arkham City, you can do the knockout smash and just satisfyingly just fucking knock out a guy you're doing a takedown on. I miss that. Now, let's hear not Oracle as a doctor. I don't know what happened. Oh, what's up with her face? Doing our evening rounds, and the next armed thugs burst into the room and took us hostage. Did they have anyone with I do like how you can move the camera when you're doing these conversations. Just they obviously didn't like always like that when you do that in a video game. Just like gives you something to do when you're in a in a boring conversation. You just like okay. They could be dead. We should go and help. Let's do shaky cam. Doctor Kellerman was in the patient observation room, and Doctor Chen went to surgery. And Doctor Young went to X-ray. Okay, stay here. I'll find the other doctors. Batman's God, I hope one day we get another Batman movie where his ears are super long like this. They even when they even when they went more realistic with his costume in Arkham Knight, they still made it so his ears are this length. I do like that. Like it just looks, it just looks fucking 
cool but also weirdly ridiculous like like a comic book all right okay i'm just gonna show this off okay yeah yeah so some of these riddles are like you can find these hidden question marks and you have to line up the dot with the I don't know whatever the fuck you call like the squiggle part of the exclamation point. I guess maybe the exclamation and the dot is the point. I yeah, I don't know. But yeah, and then you scan them and then you solve a riddle. Dark Knight. It only gets harder from here. All right. Whatever, Riddler. I got this taken care of. I'm going to definitely arrest you during the stream. Okay. Which way should I go? There's two doctors this way and then there's one doctor this way. I'll take care of take care of the two doctors first all right Vanessa says doc which is your favorite silver shamrock mask um yeah I gotta go with the pumpkin it's just like classic classic Halloween like yeah it's definitely my favorite it's the one I would want if I got one. I mean, the skull is really cool looking, but and the skull of the witch are really cool looking, but they're. You're safe now. I don't. I don't know. There's just, there's just something nice and unique about the pumpkin. I don't know what it is. You really are the world's greatest Oh wait, Hunter B says question mark. Ah, oh, I fucking said exclamation point. Fuck, it's so stupid. Get down there, boy. That's what happens when I'm streaming. I just have streamer brain where I'm just like, just saying shit that's just stupid. Like, I hate it. <laughs> just like, not even really fully thinking about things. I'm like, playing a video game, I'm talking to a chat. My brain's just not where it is, but I'm just like, yeah, it's really embarrassing. <laughs> At least I'm playing this game well. I don't think I've gotten hit once so far. That's nice. Oh shit, I, oh, I got hit that time, though. I keep forgetting I don't have the fucking five times combo boost yet. I need, I need to fucking be patient. I don't have all the cool shit you get later in the game. That'll come soon, though. I'm just gonna fucking throw you, just for no reason. How do you like that, dude? Ah, uh, but yeah, I like the pumpkin mask. The pumpkin silver shamrock mask. Uh. Think of this as a but yeah, I'm very embarrassed. Embarrassed whenever I make a mistake during a stream or during a video. It's just, I don't know. I tried to tell you, I couldn't speak. It is what it is, though. I can handle these low-life thugs. Xavier God has a super chat. The best thing to come out of the Batman the Animated Series is Harley Quinn herself, who originated from it. Yeah, it's a mixed blessing, though, because I feel like, I don't know, her character has gone down some... I don't know. I, I appreciate the character. Like, I feel like the problem with the character is... Okay, let's get this. I know this. Thomas Elliot, a.k.a. Hush. I think they retconned it so he does not work at Ar Arkham Asylum later in the series when he does appear. The Hush boss is, like, so disappointing in Arkham Knight. Just, it sucks. But anyway, um... But yeah, I feel like, I don't know, the problem with Harley Quinn is that they tried to make her more of a romantic component in Joker's life. So that came with, naturally, he's like an abusive romantic partner. I feel like it was best when she was just this colorful hench woman who, you know, had a crush on Joker, was definitely infatuated, but it was just a one-way street. Like, I feel like when they went to the, okay, he's like this abusive partner that only keeps her around so you can fucking beat the shit out of her and shit like... And it got to the point where, okay, we need to fucking emancipate her and make her a stronger female character because she's so popular and stuff. But I don't know. I do like her best. It's just like, she's just a cool henchwoman. Like, just... Like, when you're doing, like, a lighthearted Batman story, you have Robin in it. You can have Robin in it. And you can have... And when you're doing a lighthearted Joker story, you can have Harley Quinn in it. And when it's, like, something darker, you can... You can choose to not have those characters. Like, you know. He's here!
Like, I'm not so sure about her just being like, I don't know, more of like a female anti-hero version of Joker. I'm not so into that take. I don't know, it was just more fun when she was just like a f funny henchwoman that gave Joker like just someone to talk to and shit. Like, I don't know. <laughs> But, you know, I, it's just like, that's what happens when a character does become really popular. You just like, you know, certain things have to change. I'm not doing that right. I'm like really skipping ahead. I gotta fucking get the fucking Joker toxin out of this room. God, streamer brain. I'm just not thinking. Okay, yeah. First one is right there. Let's take care of that. There we go. I don't know if you can hear this. Eclipses says, thoughts on the Joker sequel? Um, you know, I, admittedly, people love that first Joker, I keep fucking up. People love that first Joker movie, and I do think it's a great movie, but admittedly, I was disappointed with that first Joker movie as a, a Joker movie. I was kind of hoping it would be, he becomes like this criminal mastermind through the course of the movie, but no, he's kind of just a pathetic loner loser. It's more like just taxi driver, and then he starts a movement. I'm hoping we get to that thing where he's this criminal mastermind by the next movie, or if they make even more of them, I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. I was kind of hoping he would be more of like somebody smart i guess he didn't seem like a smart guy either <laughs> like i don't know <laughs> fuck keep me i the gliding is so much better in the sequels admittedly like he'll do like a fucking legend of zelda link jump before gliding sometimes Ugh. anyway there we go let's see if that guy's dead oh man i wanted to see if he was dead But I guess, you know, you can just say it's just a different... It's not even really the Joker in the Joker movie. It's kind of just this more realistic, pathetic take on the Joker where it's like, this is what he would be like if he was like a real guy. Yeah, he's just unconscious. I was hoping I killed that guy. He was into Joker toxin and everything. Like, I wasn't expecting, like, the Joker movie to have Joker toxin and shit. Like, anything, like, ridiculous and crazy. Just, I don't know. I was just hoping it would be more of, like... Criminal mastermind. What's going on? My radio went dead soon after you At some point, you get that sense to a certain degree. But no, he's just kind of just a loser who just got lucky and <laughs> spawned a huge movement. There is still medical staff needing my help. All right. Will all patients please I know, like, the Joker sequel does have, like, a French kind of... Like, some kind of... I can't even, like, Le Folle Dieu or something, like, something a little more pretentious than just calling it Joker 2. Um, it's like, we're being artistic here. We're not making just a sequel. I don't know French, so I don't... I can't even remember what the fucking name is. Everybody's gonna be calling it Joker 2, though. Everybody's gonna be calling it Joker 2. <laughs> Like, no matter what they're gonna do. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who've been treated here, but that is only half the story. That's tough, no. Yeah, you can operate on me anytime. Oh, they saw me! It's the bear! That's my favorite part of these games, just hearing the henchmen say, It's the bear! All right, now I can do the five times multi multiplier. Like, it's just magic what you can do that in these games. Just like... Just, just doing combos left and right. And it's even better in the sequels where you just have so many more combos you can do. All right. I think that's all I need to do. Just these two walls, I think. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all I need. All right, time to blow up these walls with this one innocent woman. Hopefully she doesn't wander too close to the exploding walls. 
I don't even know how the how exploding walls don't kill these guys, but apparently they don't. Okay, they're like concrete walls. I know they're weak, but they're still concrete. They probably they would probably kill these guys, but you know it's yeah you know whatever. Like look at this. Unconscious. Yeah, he's he, yeah he's he's just unconscious, What's crushed by on? concrete. They were talking like they were in control. Is it true the Joker escaped? Unfortunately, yes. Xavier God says, remember when they changed the Birds of Prey movie? Name? Yeah, I remember that. I saw that movie. I thought it was pretty okay. Um, a lot of people didn't like it. I wonder why, but again, I, I thought it was a pretty okay movie. Um, it was like the last movie I saw in theaters before the pandemic really took off. And there were lockdowns and shit. But, yeah, I remember it was the original title of the Birds of Prey movie, and I guess it's still the current title, but they changed the title in theaters so it would be less confusing. Like, the original title was Birds of Prey, The Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Like, it's just just a stupid title. Like, just like, I'm quirky. I'm gonna give this movie a quirky title, really stand out, and it just didn't help the movie at all. And then eventually they re-released it as Harley Quinn. Birds of Prey. Well, they didn't re-release it. They just were like... And I think the movie was still had the original title when you saw it in theaters and stuff. But, like, they fucking changed the title and the marquee really quickly. <laughs> Mr. Mr. York says, Folly adieu is a psychological phenomenon where two or more individuals share a similar or near-identical mental disorder. Yeah, I know that, but, you know, I... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> People are still gonna call it Joker Kill. Cause yeah, I did look that up. Did you find them? Are they okay? Yes, they're safe now. Hey guys, I mean it's always just I don't know, it's just always a little bit of a it's like, you know, people we can't risk Joker getting his People are gonna call a movie like <laughs> You won't stand a chance. Well, you know, like the title that makes the most sense, ultimately. They're going to call it Joker 2. They're always going to be like, hey, you want to go see Joker? F you want to go see Joker Folly Adieu? No, they're going to say Joker 2. Like, it's just... <laughs> Cash, take Dr. Young. Get her notes and then find somewhere safe to hold up. Everyone else, go to the observation. I hate any time my cat wants my attention, he, like, scratches me. It's like, that's not cool, dude. <laughs> Just like, okay, I'm just gonna pet you and hopefully you leave me alone. Because I'm not giving attention to anybody who's gonna be fucking rough with me. I'm the one who's rough with people. Not the other way around. All right. <laughs> just three guys? That's all Joker could fucking... Okay, whatever. I can take these guys out. Oh, sh... No! Okay. <laughs> I don't know who blew up that fucking ceiling. All right. Okay, which guy am I going to take out? Okay, that guy looks promising. Hopefully he does not turn around. Thankfully, he was just, like, looking at that locker for some reason. Well, thankfully, the the AI, the AI in this game, it's pretty good. It's fine. It's, it's, you know, it is what it is. But thankfully, it got much better and more effective in the later games, where they can be a little bit more proactive. What kind of psycho built this place? and do things to try to, you know, <laughs> derail you. Because this game, they kind of do just sort of walk around aimlessly sometimes. Or, like, what is this guy? He's just, like, standing there. Like, you just move eventually. Oh, shit, I forgot he doesn't jump down immediately. You gotta... There we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. I, I, that's another thing I do miss from Arkham City is the mobility is much better as Batman. He can, like, move around and jump over railings much better. And he can even stand on railings like he's Spider-Man or something. Much better. Just much smoother. All right. Does this smell like chloroform? There we go. All right. Nicola says, or calling Halloween, Halloween, Halloween 2018. I did see, like, some of the recent DVD releases of Halloween 2018. They just call it Halloween 40 years later, which, you know, feels like a much better title. Like, it feels like the title that Halloween H2O should have just had. Halloween 20 years later, very simple. Don't fucking include the H2O part. Two 
Just keep it simple. But yeah, I, I, I like to think the actual title of Halloween 2018 was supposed to be Halloween 40 years later, but... Blumhouse or Universal was like, no, nah, we want to just use the fucking original movie title. Just try to maximize the amount of asses we could put in the seats. Making people think it's a first movie. Or a fresh start, essentially. <laughs> Matman says, chloroform? Oh no, Batman's Bill Cosby? Bill Cosby didn't use chloroform, he used quaaludes. It's a totally different way to make women unconscious, okay? Totally different. I feel like chloroform is a little more aggressive. I mean, both... I mean, making women unconscious in general is, is terrible. It's a terrible thing, but chlor the chloroform way is much more like... I'm not even trying to be subtle about, <laughs> about it. Bill Cosby at least tried to be be a little sneaky about his horrible crimes, I guess. <laughs> God. Uh. Okay, anyway. Keep moving. But yeah, we're finally at crazy. Like, I feel like I'm playing for longer than I have, but yeah, we're finally at the Scarecrow sequence. Spoilers. All right. No! Gordon, no! Ah! Oh, no. Bill Cosby has Gordon. I gotta save him. All right. What's up with my fucking eyes? I guess I must have smoked some weed or something. They are red as hell. They are red as the devil's dick. Oh no, Gordon. What did Cosby do to you? Oh God. I'm sorry, Jim. Ugh. Freaky when their eyes are open. Just gotta like, yeah. Okay, anyway. I... He's dead, whatever. I'm sorry. I was too late. I'm sorry, the number you died isn't- Huh. Detective mode isn't working. I can't see his bones. His delicious bones. I can't see them. All right. The Mentally Well says, even though Scarecrow's design in Night is top tier character design, his sections here are unchallenged. Yeah, this game's... I felt like they didn't even bother to try to outdo this game's scarecrow sections like the scarecrow sections in arkham knight are basically just story sections where it's like you see some visions i guess you can argue scarecrow's influence is felt throughout the game since you're followed by this ghostly vision of joker that's talking to you all the time i guess the fear toxin i guess essentially the fear toxin in arkham knight exacerbates the joker blood that batman has in his system and makes him see shit but yeah, I'm not supposed to be in this morgue. I'm get I'm hearing all these whispers saying, get out of here. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Fucking calm down, dude. I never really quite got that, where you go into the room and nothing's there, and then you go into the same room, and there's stuff here. I guess it's supposed to be a little spooky, where you're like, oh, wait. Stuff moving around and stuff. Oh, man. All right. To me, I always felt like this game's Thomas Wayne model was supposed to look like Christian Bale. Like, that looks a lot like Christian Bale. That's supposed to be Batman's dad, but that looks like Christian Bale. Usually, Batman's dad is like a mustache and stuff. This felt like they were intentionally like, let's just make him look like Christian Bale. Like, Christian Bale if he was like a zombie, though. <laughs> like, it doesn't look like Christian Bale normally. Mom? Definitely got a bit of an Evil Dead vibe with uh, Martha Wayne. Oh man, her name's Martha. How do you know that name? All right. Ah! <laughs> yeah, 
I have mixed feelings about Scarecrow's design in this game. I mean, I do appreciate the fact that they kind of leaned into him being Freddy Krueger, where he's got, like, hypodermic needle claw hand. Looks cool. But the gas mask, but then again, you can say that he improvised his costume with what he had. That's a cool thing about the costumes in this game. The villain costumes is that they all feel like they were pretty much just thrown together from scraps, whatever they whatever they could find to approximate their costume. And I always felt like you could kind of model a, a new Nightmare on Elm Street game off of these sequences. Like, you can make a game like this where you seamlessly go into these, like, dream se nightmare sequences, essentially, and you're being, like, hunted down by Freddy. Like, it's just a cool... This is, to me, is the closest thing to a great Nightmare on Elm Street game. But essentially, these sequences are a sort of stealth side-scrolling sequences. You just gotta avoid... Scarecrow's gr gaze. He'll occasionally, um, he'll occasionally have some obstacles in your path, but otherwise it's pretty much, it's pretty simple. Just don't get, don't, don't let Scarecrow see you. That's all. <laughs> but it's very, it, they're very cool sequences and the story aspects of the sequences are very cool where they'll have like some very interesting things messing with Batman. Xavier to God has a super chat. Would you like to see Robert England play a live-action Scarecrow in a Batman movie or show. Well, the funny thing is Robert England, like, he played the Riddler in the Batman 2004 cartoon, which is kind of funny casting. I guess they couldn't use... I guess they couldn't use any of the Nolan villains besides Joker in that the Batman cartoon show, so it would have more, made more sense if they got him to play Scarecrow, but they never got to use Scarecrow in that cartoon. But he was a good, he was a good Riddler, even though it didn't quite make a whole lot of sense. And, you know, but then again, it's like typecasting. You know, you shouldn't typecast people. But he, I feel like, um, he would be a cool scarecrow to see if you did like a Dark Knight Returns take on Batman or just an older Batman thing, an, a Batman movie or a series where he's an older man, because I feel like he's a little too old to play scarecrow at this point. Didn't he? Oh, actually, didn't he play? I think Robert England did play Scarecrow in the in the Injustice games, though. Injustice Two, at least, I think. Though I might be mistaken. Can you hear me, Bruce? What's going on? I know on? Jeffrey Combs played. I know Jeffrey Combs played Brainiac, and also the question in the Justice League cartoons. <laughs> I'm fine. In fact, Brainiac just is just like, I think, motion captured Jeffrey Combs, so it just looks like Jeffrey Combs is like an alien guy. Yeah, Mullet confirms Robert England played Scarecrow in Injustice, but yeah, I, you know, he would have been a great Scarecrow, you know, if, if they were making a Scarecrow in the 90s, like, for sure. Crane's gas must have affected me more than I thought. I'd like to see him voice Scarecrow more. I feel like... Oh, yeah, I gotta wait for these jackasses to break down the door. Man, that's a good... That's some good stencil work. It's like the spitting image of Joker. Oh, yeah, Mag Teeth Matt says, Jeffrey Combs played Scarecrow in the new Batman Adventures. I forgot about that. Yeah, his Scarecrow is like... Honestly, probably one of the best ever. Now, these red henchmen, you have... You generally have to use a stun attack to take them out, but... I like to just do the combo takedown. You know, it's just a little more smoother. Nicole L says, Doc needs to up the bar and play Batman for NES. Yeah, I mean, I would really, really be um, <laughs> embarrassing myself. Now, this is an interesting stealth sequence, and I think it's the only one of its kind in the whole series. Well, I guess they kind of do it for when there's hostage situations. In the later games where like a henchman takes a hostage, you gotta make sure you take them out discreetly or they'll kill the hostage. But essentially, this whole sequence is based around if you get seen at any point, Harley Quinn will kill Gordon. 
And I think it's the only sequence I could think of where you can't be seen at all. And it's not a hard sequence or anything. It's just cool, like... It's just a cool idea where it's just like, you can't get seen at all or you'll just fail the whole encounter. All right, let's take care of the upgrade. Which one do... Oh, combo battering. That can make my combo... Add to my combo attacks. Um... Battering power, twin bat... Oh, I gotta unlock some of these. Okay, remote... Well, no. Remote control battering isn't super useful. But oh, well, okay. Let's just get the inverted takedown. Let's just get that for now. All right. Because there's certain upgrades I know I want, and then there's other upgrades I'm like, I can live without them. Victor Zambrano says, who voiced Scarecrow and Knight? I... They they recasted a lot of voices for Knight. I think they... Because, like, for instance, like, I think in every Arkham game... Okay, I think I can take the guys out. I just can't get seen, but I don't want to take a risk. But, like, the... <laughs> but, like, the voice of Gordon in Arkham Knight is, like... Like, they got more, like, actual actors instead of voice actors to play characters. So the voice in Arkham Knight is, like, Mike from Breaking Bad. <laughs> so it's, like... They got a lot more, like, actors with actual pedigrees. I think I could take the guys out. I just can't get seen. I'm just going to wait for this guy to close the corner. Okay, I'll just take him out. Whatever. I just got to go around the corner. Yeah, this is actually a super easy sequence. Just walk around. You don't have to take out the room at all. Just go up the stairs. I guess maybe. I don't know. I... Just need to make the sequence sequences a little bit more complex. I'm hoping someday we get another Batman game in this style. It's nice, I guess, they are changing things up with Gotham Knight Knights, but I feel like they fucking nailed it with these games. It would be a shame if they did not bring back this stealth and combat style at all for future Batman games. They don't have to be Arkham. They don't have to have that branding. It felt like a little weird at a certain point, like they kept the Arkham branding across all these games for some reason. Or it's like Arkham Origins isn't even really the origin of Arkham Asylum or anything. It's just it's the origins of certain Batman characters before Arkham Asylum, I guess. And at the end, they do set up the Asylum getting reopened in like the credit sequence, but I don't Bane. <laughs> Mag Teeth Matt says, it seems like the only voice actor they didn't recast was Nolan North as Penguin. Well, they kept a lot of voice actors for Arkham Knight, but key voice actors that needed a lot more attention. Like, like you know, of course, Kevin Conroy, Mark Hamill returned. Voice of Riddler is the same across all the Arkham games. But yeah, they did recast a lot of, a lot of voices, though. <laughs> And, you know, I, but I felt like the scare, the new, the Starkham Knight Scarecrow voice was good. Like, it felt, it felt right for the tone of that game. Like, the Scarecrow voice in this game is more of a comic book, more of like a typical comic book voice acting voice. Felt like the Scarecrow in Arkham Knight had a little bit more class to his performance. Oh, Nicole L18 says, is Harley dead? No, 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 she just knocked out. We're gonna be seeing more of Harley Quinn as the night goes on. All right. Now this game is like nine hours long, so this is probably gonna be a three part stream series, most likely. I think I'm gonna do three hours each though, just cause I love this these games, so I can just play these games for fucking ever. I can play this game all night if I wanted to. I'm not. I'm not going to beat this whole game in one night, but... <laughs> but yeah, Bane was really underutilized in the Arkham series, unfortunately. He's just this dumb brute. Unfortunately, it feels like Paul Dini... Uh, from what I could gather, when they brought 
Bane into Batman the Animated Series. They didn't really like the character, but they were pressured into including him for action figure purposes, so they just kind of made him more of like a lumbering brute. I don't know why I did that. That's like... I'm gonna... He's throwing a fucking wall at me. I'm gonna throw a batarang at him. So anytime I guess Paul Dini has anything to do with Bane... They just, he just makes him like just this stupid brute. In Arkham Origins, they made Bane much more of like a mastermind criminal on top of being like, you know, being like this huge brute. And they kind of ended up having to retcon it where it's like, okay, we're gonna explain how he becomes just this dipshit that's super strong in the later games. Because... That was one of those things that was really great. Ah, oh, shit, I'm getting my ass kicked. Okay, I gotta not let these guys crowd me and just fucking keep my distance from Bane. This is an easy boss battle, but if you let them swarm you, then it's gonna... Then things get a little rough, because you... Ah, oh, shit. Okay, let's just do some takedowns. Oh, and I forgot in this game, you're not immune to damage when you do takedowns. When, like, a brute tries to charge you. Like, in Arkham City, they made it so if a brute tries to charge you and you're doing a takedown, you're completely immune to damage, which is very nice. In this game, it's not the case, unfortunately, so you have to make sure you're not fucking around too much. All right, I gotta just fucking hit this guy again. I always forget you have to just keep hitting him in order to get that health bar down. There we go. Okay, now we're down to the final health bar. AJ Benton says Bane was super boring in Arkham City. Yeah, they just didn't really know what to do with him. He could have been a much better villain. They just kind of kept him around. They pretty much just kept him around for Arkham City just to close out this Titan storyline, get rid of all the Titan formula. And he selfishly is, just wants it all for himself. So he's the only one who can have Titan. Or I guess Venom in general. Ah, oh, shit, okay. I cannot get my ass kicked by Bane, okay. Gotta wait till he's halfway through his health bar before I start fucking around. It can be a little iffy when you're dodging these walls. Okay, there we go. All right. Just gotta take him out. Almost done. All right. There we go. Take Taking care of Bane, we're not gonna see any more of Bane for the rest of the night. Bye, Bane. Mullet says Bane was pretty smart in City. I mean... I mean, the issue is that he just didn't seem like he was, like, a mastermind. Like, he... Like he was, you know, in his original works. I mean, that was the cool thing about Bane. In the right hands, he's, like... Not just this guy who gets super strong and beats the shit out of people, but he's also a guy who can, like... Who's, like, just a master strategic guy. Like, a, str a strategist, essentially. I felt like Nolan did a good job with the strategist aspect, but of course, uh, I'm not a rookie. did kind of just make Bane a guy in a mask where... <laughs> it's not a guy who needs, like, these steroids to give himself an edge in combat or anything. He's just, like, a really strong guy in a mask. But I felt like he got a lot of the other aspects of Bane correct, though, with Tom Hardy. V Infuso says, enjoy your content. Keep up the good work, brother. Thank you, V. Papa Capone says, Origins is actually pretty good. It's a good game. I, the issue with it is it just feels like... It just kind of feels a little more... Sloppy compared to the core Arkham games. Like, it feels a little bit more rushed. And, like, a lot more recycled assets and everything. Just not as... Not as polished overall compared to... The main Arkham games, unfortunately. Um, but it's a good game, though. I, you know, 
I, I played it a bunch of times. I might even play, I might even do a stream of Arkham Origins during Christmas time, because it is, it is a Christmas game. I'll go through anything you find once I get to the cave. And just so you guys know, I, I am working on October videos, so I, I know there's been a lot of game streams, but it's pretty much, this is just, this is just pretty much filler while I work on my main videos. I know some people see these streams and they're like, oh no, he's just a streamer now, but... Me streaming for like a few hours, like maybe once a week or every couple of weeks, that's not taking away time from the videos. Oh, you know, tr trust me, I am actively, exclusively working on videos. <laughs> I'm still, first and foremost, a videos guy. Streams are always an afterthought. All right, and, you know, an interesting thing about this game is in the background, these henchmen are kind of setting up essentially the final boss area. Like, this Joker sort of facade is being built over the course of the game. Very cool. Man, I should be using more, more of the other combos. I keep fucking just using the combo takedown, but it's just so useful. Let's get some variation in here. Let's do the throw. Ah, oh, shit, why did I try to... Anytime they're super close, do not try to punch them, because for whatever reason, and you know, a, a common thug is gonna be faster than Batman. You gotta always, anytime they're really close, you gotta, gotta use the counter. And I haven't really, I guess, broken down the combat if you're unfamiliar with these games, but it's pretty simple. You know, X punches, B stuns, Y counters, and A, if you double tap A, you can do a dodge. And, you know, that's pretty much all you really need to do in combat, but you can do a whole lot more, especially as you unlock abilities and the future games in the series give you so much shit you can do. It's, it's like crazy. Yeah, I know. I won't save them. This game is a lot more simplistic, though, but... They needed to figure out how to handle Batman in general. Oh yeah, just go through this door. I always like to double double check maps. I don't know, just like wait, is that the right way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Instead of taking a good long look at the map. All right. Wait, am I am I going the right? Oh yeah, that's around that corner. <laughs> Fuck mate, checking the map three times. Oh yeah, I should've just... Anytime you see, like, a group of guys, you know, in this game, you know you're going the right way. <laughs> Alright, you're supposed to stun those guys, and then you can hit them. And I broke my combo. Ah, that sucks. Yeah, I hate these guys. I'm glad they got rid of these guys you have to stun. Actually, no, I think they still have them, but they're a little more... They're a little less annoying in the future games. But in this game, they're very good at, like, fucking breaking your combos. Fucking toss that guy. Knocked him out. Mullet says, I really like all the lore for Arkham Origins especially. They seem to have put a lot of lore that wasn't in the other games into Origins. Like, all the mob stuff at the GCPD was awesome. Yeah, you know, you, they were pretty much just kind of, pretty much just drawing from, okay, I'm going the wrong, oh, well, there's a Riddler trophy up there, though. They are pretty much just drawing from Batman Year One, essentially, just, you know, just kind of drawing from the mobster stuff. But that stuff was, at this point in this story, like, the supervillains are in control, not... Not the Mafia. Okay, I got somebody knocking on my door. I guess I'll see what's going on. I'll be right back. I guess I was mistaken. I looked outside. Nobody was there. Okay, that's a little suspicious, though. Uh, huh. Okay, well, anyway. Huh. Alright, uh, I probably should have switched to my be right back thing instead of leaving a lifeless cartoon character just fucking staring out into space, but whatever. Okay. 
Oh, come on. Just, you're being pedantic here. There we go. My family's blood ran through the heart of Gotham. Is Billy Zane here? Did I miss him? I hope not. Let me see. We have been the organ. Oh, man. I hope I didn't miss Billy Zane. Distracted playing this silly video game. all to protect it. And still it has chosen to hurt us. There's an interesting twist with the Spirit of Arkham thing. You're thinking it's supposed to be, you know, just stuff left over by the actual Amadeus Arkham, the guy who founded Arkham Asylum, or at least was, yeah, I get a, yeah, I think he was the guy who founded the Asylum, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you find out it's actually something else is going on. And that, something else to note is that the, guy who plays Commissioner Gordon and Quincy Sharp and the Spirit of Arkham voices is Tom Kane, who unfortunately is forced to, has been, he, I believe he had a stroke and it lim limits his ability to talk. So unfortunately he's been forced to retire, but he was like the guy who played Dr. Loomis's voice in Halloween H2O, but he also has done like just so many fucking voices. Like he plays Yoda in like the fucking Star Wars cartoons he played Professor Utonium in Powerpuff Girls. Just, like, so many fucking voices. It's unfortunate that he's been forced to retire, though. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know, maybe he can recover. Maybe something... Things will turn around. It's so funny that that sequence was... Just, this whole sequence is just a video file. It's just an FMV sequence. When later in the series, you can actually just Disabling. glide around like that. Just... Security. Yeah, it felt like in this game, like, they definitely didn't want to focus too much attention on making the gliding great. In the later games, the gliding is super great. In this game, it's very... It's, very, it's just a very simple glide. You just can glide down a little bit but you can't like do anything that's very graceful. This is pretty much it. Just the gliding you see in the movies generally. Just, yeah. And you're like, okay, there's no way we can make the gliding work like that. So let's just make it a fucking cutscene. Lots of external funding. Here are the last notes she filed. Brett McGuire says, have you heard the Friday the 13th news? All I really saw was this new all I really saw was New Line posted, like, some kind of meme on their Instagram saying they got, like, a Instagram DM from Jason Voorhees. They were very vague about it, so... It'd be cool if that meant that, uh, they're finally making more Friday the 13th, but I don't know. And I realize, uh, the formula is missing. I feel like I feel like this game has like super small subtitles, so I feel like they're really redundant. So I'm sorry if those of you are trying to follow along with subtitles, you can't read them. Sorry about that. This game's got fucking tiny subtitles. Is there any way to scale them up though? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I shouldn't expect anything like that. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm just stuck with the tiny subtitles. You gotta squint to read them. But I guess we'll see. Hopefully we'll start to hear some news about something Friday the 13th related in the future, but I don't know. Xavier to God has a super chat. Doc, do you prefer Batman in a suit or armor? Um, I prefer him in like, you know, like... Well, I mean, it should still... I mean, this is like, you know, armor, but it's definitely much more discreet. I mean, you know, the underwear aspect is very uh, controversial, but uh, I feel like, you know, Arkham Origins made the underwear look work, where it's more like there's just a part in his armor where it's just like black, and it kind of looks like it could be underwear. There's way you, ways you can make the underwear work, but as far as armor, like, you know, you can make it more discreet where it's kind of just little bits of padding, but I do like, you know, the idea that Batman 
he's not like this ultra armored guy. He's a guy who's hiding out in the shadows. Like he's not taking on guys head on. That's something I was like a little iffy about with the Matt Reeves, the Batman where he's like set his first scene is he just walks up to to the thugs like accosting a guy at the train station he just walks up to him and then he gets like like his armor is completely bulletproof where he can get shot at and just like he doesn't even flinch when he gets hit by like fucking assault weapons like it's just i don't know it's a little iffy like to me batman is a guy who's like trying to get the element of surprise and sneak up on guys and scare them like like, he's not, like, just walking up to him. I felt like that was a little weird. I guess maybe Matt Reeves is like, I want to do something totally different with how my Batman is introduced. He just walks up to the bad guys. He's not scared. He's like, I could just take him out. Like, just... <laughs> but to me, I don't know. It just didn't feel like a Batman kind of introduction, though. I don't know. I guess maybe... Maybe the introduction I was hoping for is a little cliched, but... I don't know, like, he, like, throws batarangs at guys. Gets them scared, gets them, like, separated. Ah, oh, damn. Should have fucking countered. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Ah, oh, man. Okay, this time I'm countering. Damn it. Getting my ass kicked. Not really, but still, I shouldn't be getting hit at all. That's something I love about this game, is that if you're... doing a good, good enough job, you're... keeping up, up to date with your combos and countering everybody effectively. Ah, he went around the corner. That's bullshit. If you're playing your cards right, you can get through every combat sequence without getting hit at all. Like, it's just a very... It's just a very fine-tuned dance, essentially, where it's like, counter, punch, counter, dodge. Like, it's like a well-oiled machine. Now, I'm not bothering picking up these interview tapes. Just because I don't need, like, another little voice in the background. But I will visit Croc himself, though. If you want to hear those interview tapes, you know, just play the game. <laughs> Collect them yourself. Find you. Rip your flesh like paper. I wonder if I'm going to be facing this guy later. Yeah, probably not. All right, let's see. What's a good upgrade to get? Oh, I'll get the combo battering. Just... That'll... Critical comp... I never quite got the critical... I, well, I guess they... I guess if you get us at a certain point, if you get a certain multi multiplier, your attacks become even more powerful, I think. Not super necessary, though, because Batman's already a beast. Jack White. Xavier the God says, Doc, you should really play the Batman Telltale games. I played the first season and a little bit of the second season, though. I might stream those games at some point, though, and my cat just sneezed. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's got to warn me when he sneezes. Damn. So I can mute my mic. Just, like, give me a little signal or something. But, you know, it'll all depend on... I mean, I might stream... All the modern Batman games, if, like, people are into, into me streaming these Batman games, because they're not really horror, like, at all. So it's, like, that's why I've been uh, a little iffy about streaming them. But I fucking love these games, though, so it's just, like, oh, whatever. I'm, like, working on October. Like, I need to, need to take it easy. Like, other game streams really fucking... Like, in this game stream, I'm, like, really laid back. I'm just chilling out. Playing a game I know super well. In other game streams, I'm just like, oh, fuck, what do I gotta do? I gotta figure this shit out. Figure out how to play this new game and shit. It's like, ugh. It's just more of a pain in the ass. This game, it's, like, just a joy to stream. It's just like, ah, oh, man. Everything's going well. It's weird how Joker goes by the alias Jack White. I guess maybe it's implying that Joker is a member of the White Stripes in this universe or something? I don't know. Okay.
lovely. And the drawing of some kind of donkey. No mystery why she's so scared. I'm coming up to the surface. I'll find her. All right. Time to find Dr. Yagen. And also destroy these little chattering teeth. Now, these are part of the Riddler collectibles. I don't really know why, because they're Joker teeth. I guess I guess it's implied that Riddler is annoyed by Joker's teeth, so he's like, please take him. Please just, oh yeah, he says, smash 10 of these annoying blabbermouths. So I think Riddler is just annoyed by him. Just like, please just destroy them. Now, this game is essentially a Metroidvania. The sequels kind of lose that aspect. Uh, he's got a little rubble on him. The sequels lose that aspect where, essentially, in a Metroidvania, you get certain equipment upgrades that make it so if you go back to a place later you can get stuff you couldn't get before like later on i can get that riddler trophy because i'll get the line launcher but i don't have that now so i can't get it yet that's something i mean uh, they still have that metroidvania aspect as far as you know the just getting all the Riddler trophies and stuff. You gotta co come back later to get certain Riddler trophies, but as far as, like, progression in the main game, kind of lose that in the later games, where it's like, eh, no, no, you don't really do a lot of returning to places that much. Uh, just doesn't quite have that same Metroidvania quality, admittedly. All right, let's keep moving. All right. Whoop. Finally out of there. I, I, I mean, I'm not a big fan of those platforming sequences where you're in the sewer and get to jump around, but, you know. Don't worry about the bat. I put a few surprises along. They're not that long, though, so it's whatever. All right, where am I going again? Okay, heading to Arkham Mansion. Oh, shit, I just realized there's fucking snipers around. Okay, I gotta focus on the snipers first. Kick this guy's ass. Okay, and try not to get shot by the sniper, though. No, oh, there's another sniper. I totally forgot about the snipers. Looks like the Black Gate thugs have access to the armory. Yeah, he still knows I'm there. He's like, I'm not fucking stupid. You're still there, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is not how you're supposed to handle these. Okay, he's like, okay, I forgot about you. I'm gonna... Well, I can't... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Luckily, they're stupid. Yeah, you've got to focus on the snipers first. Otherwise, you're gonna have, like, a fucking sniper shooting you while you're fighting these guys. It's not pretty. All right, sniper's taken care of. Now to beat the shit out of the main thugs. There we go. Hey, wait, what's going on? What's popping? Okay. All right. What the hell? Oh, yeah, that's a red guy. Fuck me. Couldn't tell because it's so green. But yeah, that's a fucking red guy. Okay, good thing the combo. Oh, sh yeah, that's they're like in the hole. Oh, fuck me. Okay. They, they, oh, that, I thought I took that guy out. I guess not. I just knocked him out briefly. That didn't go so well. They fell into the hole. Ah. All right. Arkham East. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Eric says, did you see the trailer for Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey? I sure did. And it does, it, it does not look good. I mean, I'm gonna see it, and I'm probably gonna review it too, but it's like unfortunate, because it's like the most, I hate these fucking guys. They're just, you can't counter them, and they just break your combos. They suck. It just, but yeah, the Winnie the Pooh horror movie, it just looks like the most cliched slasher version of it. They could have done something where it's like, oh, I hate these fucking red guys so much. Could have done something more where it's like, just something a little bit more creative, I guess. But they, I guess they really wanted to rush a Winnie the Pooh horror movie to the market, so it is what it is. So, what happened with the pulverizing dude? You said you were gonna pulverize me. What happened with that? Where did where did things go wrong? Something I love the fact is the fact that you can just desecrate these corpses, like they're just hanging there. Like I could just like, all right. 
Why did... Why did you... Why did my daddy's neck break? They just... <laughs> beat him to death. What happened with that? Nah, well, Batman decided to, like... Fucking drop his hanging corpse. Like, you know. <laughs> he was just having some fun. It was a long night. Alright, more snipers. I guess the bat is back. I got a couple of men in the guard towers covering your movements. Be careful. Those loose cannons. Itchy trigger fingers and well. Eric Veer Veerthaler. Well, I'll just I'll just say Eric. Eric, would you ever Eric says, would you ever review Ed Wood movies like Plan 9 from Outer Space or Bride of the Monster? I have I did stream Plan 9 from Outer Space on the channel once, so you can see that. Um, I might review them, or at least do, like, a little historical overview. I would, I do want to do more historical-based videos at some point, just, like, little overviews of little, of, like, certain directors' catalogs. I'm not sure if I would, like, do, a f do any full reviews of a lot of, um, Ed Wood movies, I suppose, but, yeah, you never know, uh, Could be fun to, like, do a little mixture of an overview of a director's life and also little short reviews of each movie along the way. All right, but let's take out these next snipers. There we go. Man, that guy needs to fucking pay attention. Are these... Are these they're not even really sniper rifles. They're just, like, assault guns, but, you know, whatever. I guess they didn't have enough time to make the sniper rifle uh, model. Oh wait, I could just do the, do that. I don't have to fucking aim it. All right. Brett McGuire says, "Play Elden Ring." I played a little bit of it, but I didn't get very far in it. <laughs> Hello again, boys. Maybe I'll give it another shot sometime. Vanessa says it was 110 here in the valley. I got a nosebleed today at work. Yeah, it's fucking hot as hell there in Los Angeles. Damn. All right, took that guy out. All right. Oh, I wanted to fucking knock out that guy. Oh, whatever. Oh, fuck. I wasn't aiming right. I was hoping I would knock the guy out with the batarang, make it look all cool. Didn't work out, though. I didn't even- wait, I don't even have to- I don't think I needed to take those guys out anyway. Yeah, I just gotta keep moving. Gotcha says, are we going to play The Last of Us remake? I could stream that. That would be topical. It just came out. More topical than a stream of a game that came out. I'm not gonna bother with it. I don't need to collect those. I'm not gonna collect all of them anyway. More topical than a stream of a game that came out 13 years ago, but, you know. <laughs> I'll probably at least play it. I tried to play the original one recently, or at least back when I was still playing on PS4. I was, like, the, the second game came out, and I was like, I never played the first one. Need to catch up and play that first one. It was like back in 2020. Yeah, um, I didn't get very far in it. I kind of lost interest in it pretty early on, but could give it another shot for the PS. Oh, fuck! I'm supposed to fucking counter that guy. Could give it another shot for the PS5 version that's come out with the fancier graphics. Why did my combo break? Oh, man. Just embarrassing. Okay, just gonna throw this guy. Okay, come on. Give me a... There we go. Now I can combo take down this guy. All right. Yeah, that didn't go as well as it could have gone, but, you know, it is what it is. I Love Film says the Last of Us remake seems kind of pointless. It, yeah, it does seem a little pointless. Um, you know, a little pointless. A bit of a pointless 
waste of resources, I suppose, just because you can play the PS4 version at 60 frames per second on the PS5 already. Um, it's just, it still looks like the PS3 version, like, just like, you know, the graphics aren't as good, but still, you know, you could, it's perfectly playable still. So it's like, it does seem like, I guess it's, it's unfortunately, unfortunately the last 10 years of game, like, you know, Xbox One, PS4 generation was pretty bad, admittedly, like, an overuse of, an over reliance on remakes and ports and remasters in general, where it's just like, it's it just went overboard a little bit where it's just like there wasn't as many new games coming out it felt like like it it felt like maybe they kind of shot their wad a little too much with the xbox 360 ps3 generation just were putting out way too many hits so they're like okay we need to fucking put out put these games out again like just uh we we, we can't like outdo ourselves <laughs> this generation i don't know just uh, and, you know, so far with the PS5, a lot of it feels like you're getting just, like, if you get a PS5, you're getting games you can play on the PS4. Just, they look better and they run better. Which, you know, it, it's it's a little hard to justify so far. Um, there's some, like, games that are exclusive, but even, like, like, to me, one of the best exclusives for the PS5 is the Demon Souls remake, and that's a remake. You can still play the PS3 version. It's just, it looks a lot shittier and does not run anywhere near as well, but you can still play that. Like, it's a game that already exists, so it's a little, I don't know, it's a little pathetic how um, there is such an over-reliance on just the catalogs you already have. Like, okay, we have this game, let's just gussy it up a little bit and release it and some a lot of the times it's just also pathetic a lot of the times they run worse and look worse too where like they'll technically like the return to arkham the return to arkham remaster of this game like it technically looks better it looks smoother but it can only run at 30 frames per second and the art design just looks so much worse. Like, the lighting is worse looking. Like, it just... You lose a lot of the charm and the aesthetic. Which is why I'm not playing the remastered version of this game. Like, I'm playing just the classic version. Just looks so much better and it runs at 60 frames per second. Unlocked. Like, it's just like... Why would I want to play, like... A version of this game that looks and runs worse. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like... <laughs> Hey, now, it's just, uh, yeah, I don't know, it, okay, oh, I, I thought there was only two guys, okay, don't want to jump the gun, don't have the armor upgrade, so, like, just a few hits from, uh, from those guns can kill me pretty quick. I'm hoping, like, I don't know, it, at the same time, also, it's a little sad, because we're, like, nearing the three, well, okay, we're, st we're nearing the two-year mark for the PS5, and it just feels like there isn't as much of, um, my, there aren't really that many, like, big games yet. I think next year that's gonna change. I mean, like, technically there are, like, I play, I really enjoyed Horizon Forbidden West, but you, I could have played that on my PS4. It would have run so much worse and looked worse, but that's a PS4 game that's just, you know, running a little bit better. So it's like, I don't know. It, hopefully going into next year, we're going to see a lot more, like, exclusive, exclusive PS5 games that really take advantage of the hardware and the performance, because, um, I don't know, so far, it hasn't been super impressive. Um... I mean, it has been impressive, just, like, performance-wise, where, you know, it is cool, like, just how well it runs PS4 games and how much better they look, but still... Oh, fuck! Fuck me, he turned around. Oh, man. <laughs> I forget when they get panicked towards the end, they'll turn around very suddenly. Ugh. Almost fucking killed me. That would have sucked. 
Gotcha Co Kobe says, do you think GTA 5 is boring? I mean, I feel like GTA 5 is my personal favorite GTA game, but it's gotten old. Like, that's another example of let's just keep re-releasing the game. Like, because we, we don't... We, we don't really want to release another game because this game is already making so much money just as it is. And it's like they re-released GTA 5 for the new consoles and it's you can you could play the PS4 version on the PS5. You could play the Xbox 1 version on the Xbox Series consoles. It's just like total cash grabbing like okay, we 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 got this great game let's just keep re-releasing it because people will keep buying it it's just i don't know it's also the same thing with skyrim unfortunately where it's just like eh. i feel like unfortunately that that last generation of consoles really opened up the door for we don't really have to we, like we can just re-release games like and just like maybe up the resolution sometimes in the performance like we don't have to keep putting out games every couple years or even like you know it's you know it's just a uh... okay which way am i going oh shit wait oh shit i gotta go around the corner but i gotta go back in that room i always get confused at that part it's like oh wait do i go back out that way no 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 There. which okay yeah and you know it's also the same thing with the switch like the wii u was a very unsuccessful console i had one and it had some great games on it but yeah it was definitely an unsuccessful console so a lot of switch games are just wii u games just on the switch and it's just gotten very old where it's like uh it's great if you didn't have a wii u you get to play some good games but like I, you know, I saw like, I saw like this leak where it said, oh yeah, they're coming out with Wind Waker and Twilight Princess on the Switch. Hopefully it's like a double pack. Hopefully it's not, you gotta buy each one individually or something. Um, and those are great games. I'll probably get them again, but it's just like, just give me fucking Breath of the Wild 2 already. It's so insane to me, like, the sequel to Breath of the Wild, which supposedly uses, has this engine and, like, is reusing so many assets, has a longer development cycle than Breath of the Wild did. Hopefully it means that it's going to add, like, so much more stuff to it, because, admittedly, Breath of the Wild is my favorite Zelda game to play, but it did feel a bit hollow as far as the, uh, how the dungeons were conceived and like i don't know some aspects of the world so hopefully the sequel really overhauls it but i guess we'll see but yeah y'all nintendo is like also very guilty of just over relying on re-releases instead of putting out new games but you know Xavier Degat says Wii was great, but not the Wii U. Wii U, honestly, Wii U was pretty good. I liked, you know, I liked the... I played fucking Arkham City on Wii U, and I had a great time with it. Like, you know, I got to play Arkham City, one of my favorite games. At the time, in a handheld Someone sort of way. Not really handheld, because you have to be near your TV still, but, you know, I could just, like have like a podcast or a video playing in the background just be collecting riddler trophies on this little game pad let's see kind of reminds me of my steam deck now playing through the arkham games just i don't have to be near my tv i can like go or go places with it but you know gotta say steam deck it's fucking fantastic i mean it's it's it is buggy it's got some bugs to it but it's what it offers is pretty fucking great. Just get to play any of my favorite games just on the go. The Arkham games, for whatever reason, don't work by default. You have to get, like, an extra compatibility layer downloaded to make them work, but... And they do also occasionally, um... They do also occasionally crash, too, which sucks. Hopefully, hopefully Valve will work on something to make them play better on the Steam Deck, but they play fine. Just gotta, 
They're the only games I really have had any difficulty running on the Steam Deck, though. The real actions on Arkham. But it's just amazing that I can play, like, Arkham Knight portably, like, at, like, normal settings at 60 frames per second. It's just pretty, it's pretty fantastic. Like, it's so cool. I could play Marvel Spider-Man at 60, well, not really 60 frames per second, like, 30 frames per second. But, like, at PS4 level settings and just, like, mobile. It's fucking cool. Throw this guy. Knock that guy out. Punch him in the face. Beat his ass. There we go. And there's a patient interview. I'm not picking it up, though. Those are cool normally, but I'm, I'm streaming. I don't need an extra voice in the background. It was fucking hell during Bioshock picking up. Because I had to pick up the journals, but it's like, just have this extra voice in the background. It's, yeah, it could be a bit much. I'm hoping as this gaming generation continues, we'll see more fresh games that take a proper advantage of the hardware, and not just re-releases and also games that you can still play on the old consoles, because eh, at the moment, you definitely don't need any of the new consoles. Unless you feel like... I mean, admittedly, the last generation of consoles, they were not great as far as optimization, like... Some games were, you know, games were running at like 1080p, 30 frames per second. That's not great. So, admittedly, you know, the new consoles are great to finally get to play games at 60 frames per second, you know. And they fucking load fast, though. You know, if you're at least tired of how, I guess, um, dated the last generation of consoles have gotten, you know, you, I guess pick them up if you got the money. All right. Admittedly, that's what I did with my PS5. I got the opportunity to get a PS5. I got one, but it's not like... It's not like I'm like, oh, sh finally I could play so many PS5 exclusives. But I guess if, if and when GTA 6 comes out, that'll be a big thing. But knowing Rockstar, they're going to be... When GTA 6 comes out, that's going to be a game they're going to be milking for, like, 30 years. Like, they're not going to have any reason. They're going to probably make it in such a way where they don't have to release a game for decades again. Like, because they know... They, they know they can milk, a, like, fucking GTA 5 for nearly a decade. So they're going to make this GTA... They're going to make GTA 6, like, as future-proof as possible, knowing that in advance. Like... And hopefully at least it'll be like just you know packed with stuff i mean i'm hoping it's not a i hope it's got plenty of wait a second oh shit i'm supposed to be following a thing oh I sh what was i doing i was spacing out i'm supposed to still be in that building god damn it that's what happens when i stream i space out forget what i'm fucking doing i'm hoping though GTA 6 has, like, a sizable single-player camp campaign, because I'm ultimately a single-player guy, you know. But they've... Part of GTA 5's longevity is... the multiplayer milking of it. Uh, all right, let's go back. Fucking... did not need to leave the building. Oh, God. Like, even a game I know, like, the back of my hand. If I'm streaming it, I'm like... <laughs> I'm admittedly just, yeah. I'm admittedly spacing out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Forgetting what I'm supposed to be doing. All right. I was like, wait, why am I outside the building? Shouldn't I be still inside? Because I need to get Dr. Young. Oh, yeah. Spacing out. Oh, yeah, and I think there's a... Yeah, yeah, there's a Catwoman Riddler. Catwoman. Oh, wait, this is a penguin riddle. There's a Catwoman riddle around here somewhere, though. All right. Looks like I up... Looks like I leveled up, too. There we go. What am I gonna get? Um... Don't want the armor yet. I don't need that yet. I'm not getting my ass kicked too badly. Um, battering power. Eh, no. Twin battering, not super useful. Ooh, sonic battering. I want that. 
Let's me spin dash. Very useful. Why did I just walk up to that guy? What am I, Matt Reeves Batman? He's got a gun. What was I fucking thinking? I'm supposed to fucking batarang him first. <laughs> Spacing out. I guess also as the streams go on, I'll start to like... Admittedly, my brain will start to get a little bit more fried as streams go on. <laughs> I'm sharp and alert at the start of a stream, but then towards the end, I'm just like, what's going on? Just going through the motions and just like rambling. <laughs> God. Hopefully some people like my rambling about like, hopefully consoles and get better and we get more like new games and it's not just fucking rehashes and re-releases all the time <laughs> then again i'm you know i'm guilty of it i'll if i love a game I'll, I'll buy it so many more times on different platforms you know I... nicolo says you got 45 minutes till midnight doc oh yeah I'll make it to m midnight, I think. I'll make it. The night is still young. The dark night is still young. Oh, yeah. I don't really have to go down here. You can sequence break and, like, save these guys the way you're supposed to. But story-wise, you're supposed to go down there and Joker's like, Guess what? You gotta save these guys another way, because there's a bomb and shit. All right. There it is. There's the vent. Let's go through it. I really would like to see a Die Hard style Batman movie, because this is really cool. Just Batman in like this enclosed area. It's it's really cool. Like just having to survive against like his worst enemies. And something I did like about this game is they didn't like overdo it with the villains. They kept it very simple. Kept it to Joker, Scarecrow. You get a little bit of Riddler as far as side content is concerned, but he's not out there in the open. You get Killer Croc, just like, you know, they do a good job, like, managing the villains and integrating them in the plot very well. Admittedly, like, the later games, they get a little bloated as far as trying to fit as many villains as possible. Thank you, Batman. Are Gavin you... Elrod says, is this canon? Yes. To Batman? What the, well, I mean, the Arkham no, games have their own continuity, so... Nope. Began tearing up the place. Not canon to the comics, at least. Bill here fought back, but there were... Something that I also do like about this first Jesus. Arkham game, though, is... It feels like it could have been canon to the comics. Like, it feels very much like, you know, this is a story that could have fit into the comics at the time. Like, very easily. But then, you know, with Arkham City, they got a little bit more um, ambitious as far as the story is concerned. And Arkham City cannot really fit in with the comic continuity. It's like, it's definitely its own thing. That's a huge book. Like, dear lord. It's fucking gigantic. It's like gigantic even Batman's hands. Like, wow. <laughs> like, how do you read that? It's never this simple. Yeah, like, huge. Like, oh my god. These are gigantic books. Like, what the... Good luck. Like... Who reads? Like, is this like a giant's library? Like, dear lord. It's like, imagine one of these guys picking up these books. Like... Damn. Xavier to God says, Is the Wolfie Lair better than the Bat Cave? It depends. As far as I know, though, the Bat Cave does not have any fresca in it, so I think the Wolfie Lair is better. And honestly, I should probably take a fresca break, because we're about to go to a Scarecrow sequence. And I have been streaming straight for two and a half hours, so I'm going to be right back. Going to be back really quickly. Grab a Fresca and, you know, hydrate myself a little bit. But the night is still young. I'm still streaming this game. All right, switching to my Be Right Back screen. There we go.
All right, I'm back. Let's switch back to the game stream window and mm, telepathically enjoy this fresca. Oh, yes. Mm, but I should also look at the game. There we go. All right. Okay, yeah, we're going through this door. Okay. Hell yeah. And I think this is, well, okay, this is the second best Scarecrow sequence in the game. The, the third one is definitely the best one, the final one. But this is cool. You get to explore Batman's origin story. Did you know that Batman's parents were shot by a mugger in, like, an alleyway? This is what this sequence explores. I never really knew that. Like, I feel like that's it's an underexplored aspect of Batman. Like, yeah, it's like... Parents were like billionaire philanthropists, like his dad was like a doctor, on and like, again, Bruce. they watched Zorro, and they went into an alleyway, sorry, dubbed Crime Alley, and I, I think it was retroactively dubbed Crime Alley after the Waynes were killed. I don't think they knew going in they were walking into a crime alley. Um, but yeah, they walked into an alley, and they get shot by a mugger, and that apparently, I think it has a little bit of a... A little bit of a bearing on Batman's motivations as a superhero. I, I feel like... I feel like maybe, you know, some other stuff was going on in his life that really kicked off his pursuit of being a superhero. But, I, you know, I, you could argue that Batman seeing his parents get shot might have had some influence on him being a superhero. I don't know, but... I'll give you whatever you want. Yeah, I'm, like, very surprised. I never really knew before Batman had parents who were shot by a mugger. Like, hopefully they explore that origin story in one of the movies at some point. I feel like we never have seen this in a movie. Batman's parents getting shot by a mugger. Unless I'm, like, confused or something, but I feel like we've never seen this before. Like, it feels like a very big aspect. Feels like they've just been ignoring it this whole time. Like... But I'm glad this game explores it. You know, it, it's good. <laughs> All right, time to play as baby Bruce Wayne. This way. Take us Very briefly. Is he okay? Man, look at that cherubic face. All right, let's keep moving. He is pissed. What is up with that, like, garbage tornado? Money will fix that. Whatever you say, Gordon. His butler. Greetings to you, Ryan. You hear that? He's got a bug. I'm sorry about that. I just need to ask you Honestly, <sighs> can I get you? I feel like the cop talking to Gordon in the background, he's got a point. Like, you know, I can't be that sad about a kid whose parents died. If he's got, like, a butler, I mean, come on. A lot of kids, like, don't have parents. They also don't have butlers. Like, he's got... Bruce is gonna be fine. Like, come on. <laughs> He can buy any parents he, he, he wants. Like, come on. All right. But I feel like, ultimately, Batman's parents getting shot down was ultimately just his excuse to wear under, underwear on the outside of his pants. Like, otherwise, like, what other, like, situation are you going to be in where you're going to wear underwear on the outside of your pants? Like, come on. You're a superhero. Like, that's pretty much the only situation where it's accepted. I mean, you can. I mean, if you're a billionaire, you can wear your underwear on the outside of your pants. You could do anything, but... You know, this is the only acceptable way to <laughs> go about that. You're a superhero is the only way anybody will... willing to fucking look the other way. It's like, oh yeah, he's like a superhero. They, I guess they wear their underwear on the outside of their pants, you know? It's just what they do. All right, this sequence pretty much is just just using this back claw. Pull that down. Get a little bit of extra cover. These sequences, um, they are admittedly cool the first time, but once you really get them, they do get a little, uh, <laughs> a little tedious when you get to this part where you're just like, okay, I just gotta fucking Everything you watch out. Okay, I should not do that. Okay. Should wait? Yeah, there we go. All right. And then we go. There we go. But this sequence does add in some combat. Fight some skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons! And I remember, like, one of the um, GameStop pre-order 
rewards, I think, was you get just a, a map with these skeletons. And eventually it was just added in as a thing in the Game of the Year edition. But, like, I just remember a GameStop commercial just having... Just Batman fighting skeletons. Just like, hey, you want to just have Batman fighting nothing but skeletons? Pre-order at GameStop. I had, like, a spooky, scary skeleton song in the background, too. I don't... <laughs> Those were the days when GameStop still had some kind of relevance. They had some kind of... Some kind of play in the game industry. Now when you actually hear about GameStop, you're a little surprised. Oh, shit. Jump, jump up. Okay, there we go. You're like... Oh, okay, so they're just trending right now just because... Some kind of... Some kind of scam. Okay, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Mag Teeth Matt says Herbert West would be a great Batman villain. I feel like that's why er, why Jeffrey Combs played Scarecrow at one point. I think someone said that guy would make a good voice actor. I feel like I might be mistaken, but I feel like Jeffrey Combs' first voice acting roles were for the DC Animated Universe, the Batman cartoons. I could be mistaken, but it's the first time I remember him doing voice acting at all. He's got, like, a great voice. He's got, like, one of those awesome voices. It's kind of surprised it's not taken advantage of more. To me, he is the definitive voice of the question, and it's such a shame there has not been anything done with the Jeffrey Combs version of the question besides a few episodes of Justice League Unlimited, because, like, it's just a really great take on the character. Like, honestly, like, also just the Steve Ditko paranoid conspiracy theorist like I you know it's a lot cooler than the usual question you see who's like a Buddhist monk guy not not as cool <laughs> oh fuck it's got like some kind of I don't know he's more of a hippie version of the question like I don't know I like the paranoid kind of Rorschachy. I mean Rorschach is based on the question but like the more Rorschach-esque version of the question the classic version not so much the Denny O'Neill version of the question. <laughs> Ryan says, ah, October can't come soon enough, Doc. Well, you're a Patreon supporter, a channel member. You can see the first and biggest October video early if you want. <laughs> it's up now. Link in the description if you're interested in supporting the channel and getting early access, you know. But it's up to you. Otherwise, you know, it'll be up here on YouTube in a month. Assuming there are no issues getting it on YouTube. I hope not. I edited it very carefully, so... Theoretically, there should be no issues, but it's a long video of a pretty recent horror movie, of a big release horror movie. So who knows what'll happen, but hopefully there's no issues. Wow, there's like some serious fucking frame rate issues. What is going on? Like the PC version of this game, not well optimized at all. Hopefully, what is going on? It's like in slow motion. Please stop, please. Okay, okay, we're back to normal. That was weird. Yeah, the PC version of these games, not the best optimized, admittedly. Fucking just really bad frame rate. This game's 13 years old. I don't know what the fuck. God. All right. Then again, it might also be the fact that I'm streaming it simultaneously. Uh... I have all this other bullshit in the background. It could be causing issues. But I've run higher-end games without issues like that on my PC. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Whatever. All right. Oh, shit. I gotta go back there. That was the whole point of destroying that bell. That priceless artifact. That old-timey bell that was probably made hundreds of years ago just 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 destroyed so batman could have like a way to get out of that bell tower it's like okay i'm not want to figure out a different way i'm just gonna destroy 
this historical item just to create an entryway for me to get to the next room. I feel like Batman destroys so many, like, so much hist historical things, like, he'll just, like, probably just, like, destroy so many historical buildings just to, like, make an entrance. All right. Yeah, I also don't like the stun guys. You gotta, like, jump over them, punch them. I don't know. It's just one of those things that just messes up with the flow. It looks like this guy is... Okay, I thought he was taking a leak, but I guess not. Well, I'm gonna do the worst thing that could happen to you. Getting knocked unconscious inside a men's restroom. You don't know what's gonna happen afterwards. Like, what is... I, I just can't imagine what this guy's gonna think when he wakes up. Like, what ha what happened to me? What happened to me while I was knocked out? It's like, just... It's terrible. Oh no, Victor's ass! There you are, Batman. Listen to me carefully. Alright, time to take out Zaz. With some pizzazz. Alright. Okay. Just gotta wait for the right time. Cause she she will get killed otherwise. Gotta wait for him to show his face. There we go. F fuck you. Too early and she's gonna get fucked up. And I believe this is Cree Summer playing Dr. Young, a prolific voice actress. I think any time... For a while, I think any time there was like a black character, a black female character in a cartoon, it was her voice. She played Susie. She was definitely the go-to for classy Chupo cartoons. She played Susie in Rugrats and also played... I think a character on... Um, that's so ginger. <laughs> but also she played Elmira Fudd or Duff. Elmira Duff, I think. Elmira, she's like, played the female Elmer, Elmer Fudd on Tiny Toons Adventures. She's done a lot of voice acting. What else is Joker planning? How should I know? You think anything he says makes sense? I think he's in. Also played Foxy Love on Drawn Together. Just like, you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Nicole L. also says Penny from Inspector Gadget. Yeah, she also played Penny. Been voice acting for a long time. Young. Still, you know how Mr. J hates the squealers. Mm. Mm. Talking about squealers. <laughs> Terrence Phillipson says do a collaboration with Pipkin Pippa. I don't know who that is. And if I don't know who someone is, they're probably extremely famous and have... Millions of subscribers compared to me. <laughs> That's what I've learned over the years. <laughs> the YouTubers I actually know are, are like, just have, you know, just a, maybe a few thousand subscribers. Like, you know, that's just how <laughs> out of the loop I am. I just know the YouTubers I personally know. <laughs> the more down to earth guys. There we go. Fuck you. Oh, Dr. Young. Oracle. Cut down in her prime. She still looks pretty good, though. She just kind of looks like she's covered in soot. Before she died, she told me there's a production plant hidden... It's almost as if they were like, okay, we can't... We got, we're making a T-rated game. We can't have her, like, look blown up. So let's just put, like, a smoke-covered... Let's just make her character model covered in smoke. Using a code sequencer. And destroyed by Joker in the safe explosion. Harley Quinn has the warden, and he's the only chance we have to get past these gates. Okay. I muted my mic because I needed to. <laughs> I needed to burp. Like I'm not gonna subject you people to that. <laughs> I become a master of muting my mic in anticipation of like terrible noises. Unfortunately, I can't anticipate when my cat will randomly sneeze, though. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, I'm guessing it's just continue. I mean, I played this game. I know where I'm going. But at the same time, I've got streamer brain where I'm not quite thinking clearly. I don't know why Catwoman's goggles are on display in Arkham Asylum. She's not really crazy or anything. Also, her gloves, but I guess it's just 
Gotta put Catwoman somewhere in the Riddler stuff and have her bio unlocked, so, you know. <laughs> but that's, that's a nice thing, is like, you know, they didn't shoehorn Catwoman into this game where it wouldn't make sense. Like, why would she be at Arkham Asylum? It makes sense for her to be in Arkham City and Arkham Knight, because those are more... It's implied that pretty much all the criminals in Gotham end up, ended up in Arkham City, so of course she'd be there. But she's not going to be in Arkham Asylum. She's not crazy. I mean, I guess you could say it's fucking crazy to dress up as a cat and be a literal cat burglar, I suppose, but, you know. <laughs> it's not that crazy. I mean, there's crazier motherfuckers in this place. Oh, I forgot they have the fucking... Aw, oh, damn it. I forgot about that. Like, at this point, all of them have the trackers. Damn it! My first death. Oh, I love how he ragdolls. I forgot... Aw, oh, shit. Damn it! I forgot... Yeah, the... At this point in the game, everybody has, like, a heartbeat monitor. And Joker will alert them. So I can't, like, go try to sneak up on another guy right away. I gotta wait. Damn it. I was hoping I'd get through this playthrough without a death, but, you know. It is what it is. I fucked up. Alright, take this guy out, and then wait for them to turn around. Like, investigating that guy. Come on, guys. You know you want to turn around. It's so fucked up, though. They didn't turn around. Like, that guy didn't turn around like last time. Like, what the hell is that shit? Like, it's like he only turned around because it's like, okay, yeah, I know this guy's behind me now. Piece of shit. What the fuck? What did I hit? What did I... It was supposed to hit that guy. What the... What did I hit instead? It's like a thing I... What? What was the thing I hit instead? I was supposed to just hit that guy. Yeah, I don't know what I hit. Apparently the batarang landed on somebody, though. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Oh, whatever. I don't even think I needed to take those, those guys out, though. I think I could have just gone through here, through the vent, and then just exited the building. But, you know, force a habit. I gotta fucking... I gotta fucking fight guys. You know, it's just in my nature. I love film 247 says he should collab with donut operator Heather Lynn O and then and then when they make another Halloween vid. Honestly, I thought I realize now those are probably real people, but at first I thought you were making fun of me like I'm just going to make up like these fake YouTubers to fuck with him like donut operator. What? <laughs> realize, okay, that's probably a real guy. Oh, G Gavin says, Doc, are you canon to this game? I like to think I am now. I like to think I'm one of Batman's greatest enemies. Because I'm controlling him remotely. The King of the Fat says, Doc, have you ever been to Gettysburg? No, no, but I have been to Otisburg. All right. Did you do it? Hell yeah. Never liked her anyway. It's cold, man. And if you haven't been to Otisburg, it's just this little place in California you should check out. All right. I, I was hoping I could just, like, do a jump attack on them, but it looks like I can't. Looks like I gotta fucking... Fucking just land on them and... Hope that guy doesn't shoot me. Yeah, I should probably be mixing things up a bit more. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, right in the dick. Damn, Batman. Do you have to destroy their genitals? 
Oh, that guy was just, like, waiting, thankfully. He could have easily hit me. He wouldn't have taken me out, but it would have been annoying. <laughs> Keep moving. The Kid Cody says, the thugs are funny in this game. They're funny in all the Arkham games, admittedly. They all have, like, great personality. I think there's only, like, three different voices. Maybe even just two, but... They do feel very distinct from each other, like... I don't know, it's... Pretty, I don't know, it, the thug writing is really great. They aren't just, like... These, these, like, thugs without any personality. They got, like, a lot of good lines and stuff. <laughs> good one-liners during fights. Alright, throw this guy. What the hell happened? I just punched in the air? What the fuck was that? That was bullshit. Throw this guy. I just keep throwing guys. I need to do something a little different. Nope, too slow, dude. Hell yeah, that worked out. Fucking punched him right in the dick. Damn, just destroyed those genitals. Holy shit. Wow, Batman, take it easy. Anyway, let's keep moving. I'm just gonna ignore that guy. Fuck him. All right, let's see. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? I don't care about the remote control. Sonic Shock Batarang comes in handy a bit. I guess I'll start getting the uh, armor upgrades a little bit. Okay, well, it's like a frame rate issue right there. Okay, keep moving. Gavin says, when you think about it, Joker is the hero in this game in Origins. Huh. I guess if you think about it, we're all the hero in, their, in our own stories. I mean, if you think about it, morality is just a... Uh, a flawed human concept. And it's subjective. Who should say murder is wrong? Because one guy said it a million years ago? Just doesn't seem right. Alright. Where am I going? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking around. Okay. The Kid Cody says, Doc, are you hyped for Gotham Knights? I'm not really hyped for it. I'll play it when it comes out. I might even get it on Steam Deck. I guess technically also on PC, like I'm playing on this game, but... At the same time, I'm like, I don't know, maybe I should just, maybe I should get it on... Well, part of me is, eh, I don't know, I'm a little conflicted about what platform I should go on. I guess it'll depend on how well this game plays... No, not this game. How well Gotham Knights plays on Steam Deck. I'll wait and see how that goes. Then I'll get the PC version. If it doesn't run that great, though, I'll just get the PS5 version of it. But I'm not so into the way the combat looks. Combat and the stealth compared to these games. But, you know, I guess they're... You know, they are... Is a new potential Batman game franchise. So I guess they didn't want it... To just be the same all, and here's Poison Ivy. Stop. Stop. Batman, and yeah, you could tell, you know, definitely uh, interested in a bunch of feels like she was designed to be some more jack off material. <laughs> but you know, she's Poison Ivy, so you know it. Just stay where you are. Last thing I need is you running free. It's humid in that room. And she becomes, like, the penultimate boss battle in this game later. But starting out, she's just... She's just stuck in a cell. I guess maybe I should have played this game at 720p resolution, I guess. 
because I think the subtitles would have been bigger. They would have been scaled much larger, and the other, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm playing it at 2K, so whatever. Time to save Quincy Sharp. My future wife, Poison Ivy! Maybe I can sneak you some shampoo. The plants, can't you hear them? They're crying out to me in agony. Yeah, well, I really don't have time for this. I like how Harley Quinn is just like, I don't really give, give a fuck about Poison Ivy. We hang out sometimes, but, you know, I got a job to do. <laughs> I do, like, you know, I do kind of miss when they were just... When they were just kind of just friends, just because there's not really that many competent female... Super villains in Gotham to work with, otherwise. But now they're, you know, I guess now they're wives, you know. It, it, just pretty much just based on just horny art that Bruce Tim drew, <laughs> Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn. It's like the the lesbian fantasy of the co-creator of <laughs> of of Harley Quinn has become. It's just canon with what they it's what they are. <laughs> He's taken control of the security overrides. I have the sequence generator, but without the terminal in my office, it's useless. Ah, delicious fresca. Drunk Give me the sequence. telepathically, like always. Yes, of course. Alright, introducing the cryptographic sequencer, which we attracted is very different in this game compared to the rest of the games. And I think the rest of the game is technically an, improve an improvement because it's more of like a puzzle where you have to like construct a word that's a password. In this game, it is more just you gotta like get a certain wavelength Always. and get the color totally green. Um, not as, not as good, but I kind of do miss this more simplistic version of it. It was kind of cool looking. And I like the, I, I, you know, I don't know. Joseph Finley has a super chat. Doc, I prefer colder, wet t-shirt rooms in these games. What does that mean? I prefer colder, wet t-shirt rooms in these games. I don't know what that means. I mean, I do prefer a nice, cold, wet t-shirt on a certain... Lock this gate when I leave. Certain ladies, I suppose, but uh, <laughs> not sure. Not sure what that means in the context of this game. I guess maybe Poison Ivy. I, you know, I guess maybe get her in a wet T-shirt. I guess maybe get a super soaker. I suppose. But yeah, this is this is essentially Clayface. He's just pretending to be the warden. He's like, "Get me, me out of here already! Come on!" You and rescued he, the wrong warden. Eventually, he'll transform into another guy. Um, he'll transform into Gordon, I think. Yeah, now he's Gordon. A little bit of an Easter egg, though. Because it's just like... It, it actually, it's actually kind of funny because... It's supposed to be the Basil Carlo Clayface, but it's clear that it's kind of just a mishmash of Clayfaces. Because it's all he's also got the mannequin that the third Clayface had the pain version of Clayface. Um, I I do kind of wish we got to see the third Clay, Clayface in something, like, because he was a very weird, interesting Clayface, where he is essentially, he was, like, essentially, like, a parable for fucking, like, the HIV virus. Like, he's, like, a guy that spreads... Like, he essentially can, like, fucking melt people. Like... And that's basically all he does, and he's, like, got this degenerative disease. Like, he's got to spread it to other... Okay, well, I guess it's a little fucked up. <laughs> I can understand why they've never introduced Clayface 3 in anything, though, because it is, like, he can instantly kill people, like, and it's just, like, very yeah, gruesome, that, too. <laughs> and his costume is a little goofy. He kind of looks like Mr. Freeze, but... <laughs> with, like, just, like, clay underneath his helmet instead of, like, a ice head. I don't know. <laughs> I know, I know, you guys shot. Come and get me, Babs. I double dare ya. All right, Harley, I'm gonna kick your ass soon. Don't worry. Why don't you just go get a 
First, I'm gonna kick these guys' asses. I do hate the fact that you can't just kick Harley Quinn's ass in this game. It's just a cutscene. It's like, come on, let me kick her ass. She's being a, she's been a bitch this whole night. Like, come on. Oh, that guy's got a gun. That's not fair. I do remember, like, I read this story arc with Clayface called the Mud Pack. And it was set up as all the Clayfaces team up. But in reality, it was basically just a story arc where... The original Clayface just becomes the prime Clayface, and all the other Clayfaces just become irrelevant. It's like, we got too many Clayfaces. We gotta fucking get rid of some of these guys. And if you... If you're not familiar with the original Clayface, originally Basil Carlo was just a guy, essentially pretty much just just Boris Karloff, just based on Boris Karloff. He was just a guy who wore a mask, a clay mask. That's, and he stabbed people, that's basically it. Then the second Clayface, he actually could transform into people. And he had like a weird origin where he found like these urns underwater that could turn him into Clayface or something that he had to keep keep getting eventually he got killed in the crisis on infinite earths though that little story arc um and then the third clay face was basically just mr freeze but he could melt people um i guess he was seen as kind of a redundant character which is why you don't see him a lot in things but i thought he was still pretty cool it'd be cool to see him at least once and he, like, his wife is just, like, this mannequin. He, like, he's, like, totally crazy. And then the fourth Clayface is a female Clayface, who was essentially the second Clayface. She could just turn into people. That was pretty much it. And she fell in love with the third Clayface. Then, you know, the original Clayface got all the... Got Clayface 3 and 4's powers. Made it seem like he was just wanted to team up with them. But no, he just wanted their powers so he could become the prime Clayface. And then Clayface 3 and 4, they got, I guess, married, and they, they fucked. I don't know how clay people can fuck, but they fucked, and they had a child whose, na whose name was literally Cassius Clay, which is, like, so stupid. It's like, oh, God. But, yeah, that happened, and I think that's pretty much the end of the Clayface line. I don't know if Cassius Clay ever returned, but... The Clayface character is very convoluted, admittedly. <laughs> Just, like, so much... So much history. <laughs> uh, so much convoluted history. I guess I should have just gone over here. This is where the game kind of becomes a little bit of a horror game. Like, you're getting jumped by these fucking maniacs that are let loose. What? Just fucking tackle me already, dude. Make the first move already. All right, keep moving. All right, here we go. Look who's finally turned up, the dark knight himself. How's it hanging, Babs? No, wait, what did, um... Okay, I got a time limit here. Let me see, what? The King of the Fat said something about John Carpenter's The Thing. Um, oh, Clayface versus The Thing. Okay, well... Um, I don't, I feel like maybe, I feel like maybe, uh, the Clayface would win the day, I don't know. I feel like, cause I, I feel like the thing wouldn't be able to copy, uh, a clay person, I don't, <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, I got, no, wait, wait, okay, I got it. God, I got streamer brain, I've done this so many times, but I've forgotten. <laughs> To ring the stream. I gotta do this first. I got a time limit. I gotta save these men. Can't just let them die. Get the fuck out of here, dude. It's gonna. All right. Then I gotta do this. I'm running out of time. There we go. And I gotta save this guy. Come on, dude. It's not that bad, bad of a time limit. I don't know why I'm freaking out. The Kid Cody says, I hope they remaster Arkham Origins. Um, 
Yeah, it's a game they've kind of neglected, admittedly. Um, you can't really play it. I mean, yeah, you could play... I think you could play it on... Xbox Series X. I think they made it so it's playable. What am I doing? Wait, oh, the wrong one! Oh, shit, I got so little time left. 15 seconds. Oh, shit, the wrong control panel. There we go. Got it. All right. Last second. Let's get the fuck out of here, guys. Almost died. Oh, I thought we were both gonna die in there. You're safe now. You going after that crazy witch? I saw her heading out of the doors. Yeah, they got a lot better with the facial animations in the later games. They look a little, uh... Don't quite have a lot of emotions going on in those faces. Like, their mouths, their mouths just move, but, like, you know, there's not a whole lot of articulation in the rest of the face. All right, time to take down Harley Quinn. I wonder what that guy's up to. Oh, shit, no! Yeah, I'm looking for you, Harley. Come on. I gotta fucking kick your ass. Come on, keep up. You getting tired? Let me give you a little help. Oh, thank you. Ooh, we're getting warmer. Honestly, they probably could just win if they just lock Batman in one of these rooms. It's like, did I pass by one of the guys? Oh, no, he's, he's coming. Man, like, the fucking inmates, like, the crazier inmates always kind of freak me out a little bit. They're, like, easy to take out, but, like, the noises they make and how quick and frenetic they are, it's just, I don't know, it always freaks me out a little bit. Very freaky. And, like, when they start wandering around the asylum, it's just, I don't know, it's... Ugh. Be a little bit much. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay, I go around the corner. Da -da. Yeah, and then I go through this door. This all looks familiar to me, and then we finally face against Harley. Or at least the guys she has fight for her. Excellent. I'll leave it to you then, my dear. Yeah. Now, this fight's pretty easy. The only real difficulty and thank you lich lord for the super chat sticker the only real difficulty is the floor will become electrified so you just gotta fucking get off the floor that's about to get electrified it's as simple as that like right now i'm kind of dicking around right now i gotta get off this fucking floor Ugh. and all and it's kind of cool because all the other enemies will like okay we gotta get off this floor too because they can get shocked too it's not just you no it's cool All right, let's get the fuck out of here and let that guy get electrocuted to death. It's like a dope. The sticker is like a dog with a bone. It's so cute. Okay. Can't look at the sticker too much. But yeah, it kind of just goes in a pattern, the electrified floor. So it kind of just goes through its pattern, but it's very predictable. I remember, like, when I first played this game, like, all this shit, like, was so difficult for me. I was like, oh, man. The floor gets electrified. Oh, shit, I gotta fucking fight all these guys, too. Ugh. It's, it's easy, you know, it's... It's not hard. I could probably, I could probably be playing this game on hard mode, but at the same time, I'm like... I want to see those counter icons over their heads, just because... Just makes things a little more fun for me. I don't know. Just play the game. My thing is just like, play a game. Whatever way's the funnest for you. If it's the most fun playing on hard mode, you know, play it on hard mode. But if you know, you want to play it on normal, you know, that's that's fine too. I have beaten this game a few times on hard mode. It's just I don't feel like doing that during a stream. A stream is already a bit of a pain in the ass to do. Well, not really, but. <laughs> But playing a game live, you know, and then sh trying to play it well, too, I don't know, it's just, it's a bit much. All right. I think these are the last two guys. 
once I take these guys out, they're just like, okay, let me pick up this pipe. Because I know I don't stand a chance, but at least I'll have something to fight back with. And the last guy, yeah, broke his fucking arm. Felt so good. I don't believe it. I'm on my way now. Oops, change of plans, kiddo. But I tried my best. Sorry, but there is no prize for second place. I'm afraid you're off the party list. Oh, no. <laughs> Harley Quinn has been canceled by the Joker. Oh, no. All right. Time for the hardest boss fight in the game. Fighting Harley Quinn. Holy shit. Oh, she's fucking flipping around? Oh, no. Now that would be like a quick time event sequence where you press the counter button. But <laughs> this game, it's just a fucking... And I like the little bit of jiggle physics on her titties. <laughs> this game, it's just... This is just a fucking cutscene. Victor says, in the Batman, Clayface has a tragic backstory. I believe there's an episode with that Clayface, the Batman one, and Basil Carlo, and the other you mentioned. Um, yeah, I feel like the Batman cartoon had the best take on Clayface because he was actually a childhood friend of Bruce Wayne. Ethan Bennett, I believe, was the name of that Clayface, and he has, like, a tragic origin where he's, like, a great cop. He's, like, a great detective that's good friends with Bruce. But he ends up getting, like, clay faceified by Joker. So I'm calibrating this and I believe the season one finale, and that becomes a big deal. And his whole thing is, like, he's becoming, like, I guess, crazy. And he also wants to get a cure. And eventually, I think he does redeem himself and become a good guy. And they eventually introduce the Basil Carlo version of... Clayface that becomes the more villainous Clayface going forward. That was a good cartoon. I mean, it had some aspects that definitely felt like this is like much more overtly trying to sell toys and stuff, but still a great show. It had a great atmosphere to it and, you know, some cool designs. It was like this, the designs were by the guy who drew Jackie Chan Adventures, like who designed characters on that show. Interesting approach. Uh. <laughs> oh, Harley was just the warm up bats. And to be fair, Admittedly, I did not like the first design of Joker on the Batman cartoon, though. It was just a little too. A little too kitty, I think. I don't know. It was a different take on the design, but I'm glad they kind of just went with the purple suit and everything. But it's been a while since I watched the Batman cartoon. I know it's on HBO Max, but I saw they recently released the whole show on Blu-ray, so I might pick that up sometime. But I still need to rewatch all of Batman the Animated Series on Blu-ray. I think I got, like, past season one. I need to finish my rewatch of that series before I start picking up Superman the Animated Series, Justice League, all the other DC animated shows. Like, you know, I want I don't want to overstep things. Oh, man. Actually, I know there's, like... Uh, I probably passed him a long time ago. But I know there's, like, an inmate in here that's basically just a contest winner. Oh, and this is Calendar Man Sale. And I, yeah, I think I actually long passed the contest winner inmate, unfortunately. How the fuck do I get out of here? Let me look at the map. Calendar Man? I don't care about Calendar Man. Except it... Unless it's the long Halloween. Okay, yeah. Uh, I like how they, these games have had Calendar Man, but he doesn't ever do anything. Like, they've had him re returned repeatedly, but he's just a guy in a cell that just talks about fucking holidays. That's it. Like, he never does anything. He has a little bit of a st story in Arkham Origins, but he still doesn't really do anything in that game. He's just like, I, I, well, I think he's like supposed to be executed in Arkham Origins, but Black Mask, or at least Joker pretending to be Black Mask, sets him free last second, but that's pretty much it. Ah! 
Oh shit. Fuck you, dude. Go to sleep. Damn. Oh man, the physics. All right. This guy is not a surprise, though. Hey, dude. How you doing? Let's keep moving. Let me think. Hmm. Oh, shit. This place is filled with inmates. How you doing? Okay, yeah. It's good to see you again, too. Where am I going next? All right. Okay, gotta go to the botanical gardens. All right. That's fine by me. Um... Admittedly, something that's a bit of a habit for me playing these games is I play the I have Batman crouch a lot playing the games even when he doesn't need to because otherwise Him walking It's like I don't know. It's just like he blocks a lot of the screen and him running It's still like you don't quite have like great camera control when he runs um, But when he's crouching you got like a lot more it's much more because you have to hold down the A button to run, and it's kind of awkward to move this stick to look around. But, like, when he's crouching, it's just a lot more fluid as far as looking around. All right. Just to make sure where I was going. Invidente says, it's time for Poison Ivy. Not quite yet. We will see her again, but she doesn't really do anything until, like, near the very end of the game. <laughs> Fucking knock you out, dude. Oh, shit! Mama said knock you out! Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, I got four c combo multipliers. Let's make it... Oh, okay, I was hoping he would jump across. Make it three. All right. Joker's like talking shit about me on the intercom again. That's all he knows how to do. Just like, hey, it's I. I'm the Emperor of Arkham Asylum. Yeah, right, dude. Ross says, I'd love to see Jim Carrey as the Creeper. Yeah, that would be... I mean, that, that would basically just be... That would basically just be, uh, the mask. A uh, role he already did, but... It would be cool to see him play as the Creeper, I guess. Whoa, I didn't know you could do that. Just, like, pull them back. <laughs> pull them with the fucking bat claw? That's cool. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna just do that more. Fucking yank them by the neck. Break their neck. It's like, damn. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Fuck you, dude. Just knock him out like that. That's much more efficient. That guy's, like, dancing towards me. He's like, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? All right. There we go. <laughs> I'm learning new things all the time playing this game. Blaine says you must need some real balls to work as Arkham Security. I would hope they get paid okay. Then again, I feel like they're not getting paid very well if they're willing to... Now, this is like a Victor's Zaz riddle. I feel like they're not getting paid well if they're willing to, like, just work for joker at least i guess i guess it was just frank bowles though working for joker oh shit that they got guns oh shit thankfully they didn't fucking use them <laughs> i didn't realize they had guns Ugh. you guys are using guns what the hell i'm not using guns that doesn't seem fair What the hell is that? That, that kind of does look like Dr. Manhattan with wings. All right, let's reach a vantage point. Start taking guys out. I guess I could do the inverted takedown, but that'll alert them too early. 
I guess it doesn't matter at this point, though, because they all have the heartbeat monitors. They tell them what's going on anyway, but still. I can maybe take out this guy real quick before Joker alerts him. Dude, no! Silent takedown! There we go. As he takes you out one by one. You heard the boss. Invidente says, Cash is one badass security guard. That was kind of a cool thing to see his character arc across the three games. Is like, he starts out as the security guard, then you see him in Arkham City, and he's like, a guard for the medical team at Arkham City. Apparently he he got blamed for what happened here, even though it was all Warden Sharp's fault and Frank Bowles' fault. Like, it's like... <laughs> that's kind of bullshit. And then by the last game, he's just like working for the Gotham PD. I don't know why he wasn't working for... Working as a police officer to begin with. It, at least by Arkham City, I guess, but I don't know. Guess he was disgraced at one point, but which is unfortunate. And he's got like a cool backstory with Killer Croc as well, where he lost his he lost his hand. What can I? Oh wait, I could do Sonic Sonic battering. Let's mix things up a little bit. Let's not just sneak up on guys multiple times. Like that guy split up, then I can just. Okay, I was hoping I could sneak up on that. I'll do the inverted takedown, whatever. There we go. Luckily, they d didn't learn to take out these gargoyles until, like, the second game. Like, why are there so many gargoyles? Oh, I thought they were this was the last guy. There's still one guy left. It's like bad. It's like Bruce Wayne installed all these gargoyles into every building and every room in Gotham, just in case he needs to like sneak up on guys. It's like, eh, just want to make sure. It's like, why do we need all these gargoyles in this botanical garden? Oh shit, that was close. Anthony Vaughn has a super chat. Michael Myers versus Jason, who'd win? Well, I mean, if we're doing like a fight where it's just like they're one-on-one -on -one putting a room together, you know, Jason's probably going to win just because he's just a lot more physically imposing and everything. But if you got like, I mean, I guess it's like a fucking Batman versus Superman situation, essentially. Where it kind of goes into sort of bullshit territory, but if we're being like subjective, you just put like them in a room together, just then they fight. You know, it's gonna be Jason beating Michael. Like I like Michael Myers more, but like, come on. <laughs> oh no, Joker! Do not kill that guy, please. Before it goes, there's been enough death tonight. Don't kill that generic-looking guard. I please. He's got like a wife and kids. Okay, if you say His wife is going through chemotherapy. Dude, no! Oh, come on, Joker. That's not cool. Okay, whatever. He's got, like, seven kids. They like to fuck a lot, okay? Probably wasn't the most responsible thing, but still. He's got... Oh, man. I need to shut down power to this room. All right. Very straightforward. Just go through here. And go downstairs. Why did I do that? Okay. All right. No. Okay, not very straightforward. Did not go the right way. There's another room. Damn it. Where is that room? Yeah, it's... It should be this way. Okay, what am I doing? It's a simple thing where I just follow the fucking... Wait, why did it lead me this way, though? Because that's the way that... Am I confused? Oh, man, I might be confused. <laughs> why am I confused right now? Okay, I get... No, yeah, this is the right way. Yeah, this is the right way. I just got confused because it's a very similar-looking hallway. Yeah, I was like, a fucking bench? I went through this hallway already. I was like, oh, this is the entrance. Oh, man. Streamer brain. Just like, 
fucking not thinking right. This is the right way. Stop, please! I'm not important. It's the back! Oh, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh, I started my punch long before yours. You tell me Batman? Oh, shit. Okay, streamer brain. I'm, like, getting worn down. I'm, like, getting my ass kicked by basic henchmen. Oh, shit. I forgot he had the fucking stun baton. All right, finally took this guy out. Ugh, so annoying. I'm just gonna throw you, dude. All right, okay, we're doing okay now. We're kind of redeeming ourselves a little bit. Oh shit, I didn't know that guy was there. Oh, okay, whatever. It took out everybody in the room, whatever. Yeah, that did not go as well as I was hoping. Thanks. Are you okay? Honestly surprised the janitor managed to survive this long. What were they doing in here? All the other guards are dead. Like but the janitor, he's he's still going. Controls. I have no idea what they were doing. All right, let's see. Let's take care of this. This control box. This is going to be tougher than before, but it's a risk I'll need to take. Okay. Got to take this risk. It's basically the same as all the other cryptographic sequencer moments in the game. It's just you got to do it three times. I'm so glad they added, like, the password aspect to these. Ah, and there's, like, also a time limit. Come on. Come on. What? Oh, God. No, I got it. Oh, God. It would really suck if I died to that. Looks like I cut the power to the generator ahead. Hell yeah, you did. Let's get the hell out of here and leave that janitor alone with a bunch of unconscious men that will probably wake up really pissed off and try to kill that janitor. Like, just like, okay, we we failed our objective. Let's just kill this janitor. It won't be long before I have an army of titan monsters at my fingertips. Just imagine me being carried through the streets, stepping over the corpses of all those innocent citizens. All right, Joker, we get it. You're gonna have a great time with your hulked out henchmen taking over the city. Yeah, we get it, Joker. Get the gist of it already. All right. No, wait. There we go. I am never going to physically open up these vents again with my bare hands. Always gonna use the back claw. That's the more civilized way to remove a vent. Wait, I think there's a... Yeah! Knew it. Rat catcher. My favorite villain, the rat catcher. Now, got, went around the wrong corner. There we go. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Let's see what's behind wall number one. A room, I guess. Okay, that's a little disappointing, but also a door, yeah. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Ooh, another one of these jumpy platformy sequences where I can't use the grappling hook. Okay. It's always It always sucks when you, like, miss a jump. Oh, shit, like that. Oh, my... Why did I even jump? Like, I was just, like, running towards the staircase, and he just jumped. Ugh. There we go. Oh, yeah, and then I gotta jump over... Th no, wait, that's where I jumped from, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that's where I... <laughs> Fuck me. I go this way. Oh, okay, that was brief. Just, yeah, there we go. Very simple, jumpy platform sequence. Yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, just wait your turn to get your ass kicked. I appreciate it. 
I love how, like, Batman jumps. It's, like, just such a huge jump. What is this fucking marijuana all over the floor? What? Marijuana leaves? Okay, uh... Are you okay? Do I look okay? They were gonna kill me. We were in the aviary hiding out, and they came in with Joker shooting up the place and loaded us into cages. Are they still in there? Matt Man says Rat Catcher as famously played by Taika Waititi. Oh yeah, he did play the first Rat Catcher. Well, I guess was not a Batman villain in the James Gunn take on the character. All right. We all know Batman does not exist in the DC universe. <laughs> In the film universe, at least. He's a standalone character now. But the map is on the way. If you see him, send the annoying doctors to hell. That's the doubt. Hollywood Purgatory says, Wolfula, have you seen Barbarian yet? Da. I didn't. Um, I did see a few days ago, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Batman's here. And, you know, it's, it's okay. Oh, yeah, this is another sequence where you can't get seen. I thought... For whatever reason, I thought there was only one of these sequences, but no, there's two. Ah, I fucking have to f pull this damn vent off. Like a damn animal. My own hands instead of the back claw. Ugh. Feel filthy. Okay. Bodies, 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 I felt reasonably entertained me, but the whole movie, I was just like, I could have just rewatched Clue. Just got a better version of this. <laughs> just could have rewatched Clue. Oh well. But Hollywood Purgatory says, I think you'd really like Barbarian. Well, I have to check it out when I have the chance. Oh, yeah, I don't have the fucking line launcher yet. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I think I can get to there. There's a... F I think there's a couple options, but I think I can get there from here through this vent. I might be mistaken, though. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I just needed to go through the vent. All right. You can also, if you're a little bit more... A little bit more... Courageous, you can... Grapple up to the, uh... Up to here from that scaffolding, but... It can be a little bit tricky not getting su s s seen. Like, you know... All right. Where's that guy going? I took the guy out over there. What is, where's he going? What are you doing? Dude, what are you doing? Where are you going? At least he didn't turn around. Alright, just take these guys out really quickly. And then we'll fight a grand boss battle. Basically just Bane, but... Yeah, they're not even trying. They're just like... Someone's taking us out? Okay, we're just gonna stand around, I, I guess. Ross says, Wish the sequel to Freddy vs. Jason would have happened. Unfortunately, Freddy vs. Jason, uh, it came out just a little too... I mean, it came out the last minute when a movie like it could happen. Like, thankfully, but... If it had come out, like... In the night... What is going on? Okay, if it had come out, like... A little earlier, that might have been more of a chance for a sequel, but... Unfortunately, during that period, gears were being shifted and things were moving towards remakes around that time period, unfortunately. No, I don't know. I, I mean, of course, they made, like, a comic sequel, you know. It, it is what it is. Uh, let's play it a little safe. Get the armor upgrades. Who knows what will happen during this stream. Mallory Lowe, Mallory Lowe says, Have you seen Prey, the new Predator movie? I am a big fan of the Arkham games. I hear great things about it, and I still need to see it. Unfortunately, I have not seen it yet. 
I still need to rewatch. I wanted to rewatch Predator One and Two before watching Prey. I need to make time for that. But uh, I've heard great things. Just I just need to fucking watch it. All right, what am I doing? Oh yeah, yeah. Need to find where Harley Quinn got in it. But thank you for the super chat. Sorry, I. It looks cool. I mean, it looks like a cool movie. Oh, I'm probably gonna like it, but just haven't seen it yet. I like the director's previous film, 10 Cloverfield Lane. I thought that was, like, the best Cloverfield movie, and it wasn't really a Cloverfield movie. Come on, you can do it. Come on. It's always the third one that's, like, a difficulty. Come on. Do... Come. I'm getting warmer. I'm getting warmer. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Just so much suspense. All righty. Time to face my destiny against one of the most iconic boss battles of the entire... I think, uh, out of all, like, one of the most iconic boss battles in gaming history. The Titan Henchman boss battle. Just, just such a fantastic boss fight. Just, and I'm so glad they do this, like, five more times in this game. Because it's just such a fucking masterclass in boss battle design. Just fighting these generic cult guys. Dodging them, throwing batarangs at them. It's just, it's just fantastic. It's just such a great boss battle. They're kind of like clown hulks, you know. They got that going for them. I like to think Joker forced them to, like, get clown makeup tattooed onto their faces. Oh, no. Is that guy going to hit me? Oh, thank God. Oh, that was a close one. Okay. Got to try to hit these guys without them hitting me. Which is like, should go without saying, but, you know. There's like two of these big guys in a corner, you know. Eh, get a little iffy. Oh, yeah. Killed two birds with one stone. Destroyed the Titan canisters. Oh, yeah, that's always good. I don't have to blow them up later. But we are going to get to a fun part with this boss battle in just a bit, though. If it will just let me. There we go. Yeah, get to ride these guys. Not in a sexual way, though, thankfully. Though then again, that might be your thing. But, you know, you do get to pound these guys. All right. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, I'll take this guy next. Who needs a Batmobile? You can just ride a Clown Hulk. That's the next best thing to the Batmobile, I think. They should have just made this the Batmobile in Arkham Knight. Just so much more fun to ride. They're just like fucking slapping each other. All right, guys, settle down. Okay, he's gonna throw a corpse at me. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on, guys. There we go. That's what I like to see. Oh, shit. No. 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 Don't hit me. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Damn. Thank you for the super chat donation, Druid. Finally caught a doc stream. Hell yeah. Just watched American Psycho 2 Shatner at his best. Yeah, I feel like he's a guy who's been alive a long time. But American Psycho is definitely the crown jewel in his filmography. I'm glad that, you know, he's gotten to appreciate the benefits of being in that sequel all these years later. It's been 20 years and he's still going strong. Nearly 100 years old. But one of his best films yet is still the Mila Kunis American Psycho sequel. That isn't really an official sequel at, at all. It's just like a jury-rigged sequel. Or I guess Jerry Riggs sequel, I guess. Ah, oh, fuck, I got hit. I was hoping I'd get through this boss battle without getting hit at all. Just a little hit, though. Just a little one. Mm. 
Okay. Oh yeah, he's got the he's got the little cartoon stars around his head. I like to think Batman sees the world as like a cartoon. He sees he sees like his enemies with like cartoon stars around their head. It's like this realistic. Well, it's not really realistic, but this gritty world. You see these cartoon stars around guys' heads when he punches them. They've been using a venom plant hybrid to create the Titan strain. The plant's the key. And there's only one Shady says on that man is literally a hundred years old. About William Shatner, yeah, and he's gone to space. It's like, damn. Her pheromone signature on record. She'll be somewhere in the gardens. I'll track her down. All right, let's get that line launcher. Come on, give me the line launcher. Okay, take your time. Oh yeah, I gotta walk up to this fuck. Oh yeah, I gotta fucking unlock the door first. All right, then I'll get the line launcher. One of the most useful gadgets in this game. Not really. Use it a few times, though. Get over this ravine. Victor says, speaking of Taika Waititi, has anyone seen Thor 4 and is it worth checking out? I heard, I don't know, I heard it's just kind of a middle-of-the-road Marvel movie, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I, I uh, <laughs> I saw Multiverse of Madness, and just pretty much just because it was an, it was a Sam Raimi movie, and you only, it's been like nearly a decade since the last Sam Raimi movie, so I was like, I gotta see it. And you know, I felt like, you know, I didn't really need to see it. It wasn't really a full-blown Sam Raimi movie, it felt, you know. I'm probably gonna be skipping out on as much Marvel stuff as I can going forward. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, no, not with that. Line launcher to... No, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's like the... It's like the grapple, but, you know, horizontally instead of vertically. All right. Oh, no, he killed the doctors. No. Oh, man. They don't really, you know... Yeah, they're dead, I guess. I don't know. I wonder what Joker did to him. Damn. But you know, I you know, with Thor Love and Thunder, I feel like Thor Ragnarok was like a total it was a total like, you know. It was like a one-off thing cuz it's like Thor I I don't see the appeal in Thor as a character, so it's just like you know, chances were one of those Thor movies was going to be pretty good, but, like, you can only do that once. Like, this, like, quirky, weird sci-fi take on Thor, like, you can't do it a third, like, not a third time, a second time and think it's going to work out. Like, it's like, yeah, no, it's... You could do it that one time, but otherwise, like, Thor is just, like, you know, just a background character in a fucking superhero team-up movie. Like, I just, I don't know. <laughs> He's like a public domain character that Stan Lee was like, all right, I need to fill out this team, and we don't have a ton of superheroes, so I'm just going to use this public domain character and just make him a fucking superhero. You know, which is an ingenious move when you need to... You need, like, a, a big name that people have heard of. Like, okay, go with, like, a mythological character that works, but I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, I, Thor has fans, so I guess, I don't know. I guess maybe I just don't quite see it, though, but... Every plant on this island will get the same unless you cooperate. There's a plant growing deep in Arkham Island. Only it can counter the effects of this titan strain. Where do I find it? All right, gotta find a plant. You didn't think it would be easy. Oh no, Killer Croc's lair. Hmm. Okay. Go back to your cell. That should be a fun sequence. And I'll be waiting. I'm guessing that we're gonna get to Bang later. It's gonna be like a God of War sequence. Oracle, 
I need to find a way into killer Croc. Press the buttons in so sequence. <laughs> God. About where he's kept. That was a weird time period in games where it just said like fucking sex mini games. <laughs> left guard cash in the mansion. I'll see if you can shed some light on where Croc's kept. All right, kick these guys' asses. Ah, oh, shit, I started my punch before that guy. Come on, it's always bullshit when that happens. I'm just like, come on. These guys are so much faster than Batman. Come on. Oh, that felt good, though. Oh, are you fucking kidding? Oh, come on. I was already... Ugh. I always hate it when that happens, because it's like... Combat system is really great, but when you fuck up, it really feels bad. <laughs> You're just like, ah, oh, I feel like such a fool. And it's like not even a huge fuck up, but it's just like, you just see, it's like, oh, you just see like Batman, like punching air. It's just like, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, that never feels good. It's just like, of course, all those guys got knocked out, so I had nothing to punch. So we just punched air. I don't know. I always just, I always just feel sad when that happens. Okay, yeah, just gotta keep. Wait. Oh yeah, do I have to go through the? Okay, hopefully I can just go. I always get a little confused about. Uh... Yeah, hopefully I just gotta... Oh, yeah, now I remember. So I have to go through that fucking vent. Damn it to hell. Damn it to hell. All right. This bullshit vent. Ugh. Go through this pointless room. Just only exists for the Riddler trophies. All right. Then we're getting places. Okay. Ah, oh, fight. Damn. What is with all this, like, extra shit? Like, what is... I feel like you could build some rooms out of these places. Like, come on. All right. Finally, through this... Extra bullshit. Okay. Backtracking in this game is never great, admittedly. But at least when you backtrack, you get... You, you'll have... Oh, shit. Why did I... Start a punch? Just such a fucking rookie mistake. Make it so many... Make it so many mistakes I should not be making. Ugh. It's like, of course that guy's gonna hit me first. Aw, oh, shit, of course there's more stealth guys. All right, take these guys out. Okay, just gotta take these guys out. I'll just do the inverted take now. It's like, no, it's not a good idea. But I got the armor, fuck it. You know, it's been a long night. Okay, maybe I'm not going to survive. <laughs> okay, that was one. I shouldn't have done that. You don't want to do that so close, but, you know, at least the room is going to... At least they're scattering some more in the room. will get cleared a little faster, as long as I don't get hit some more. You don't want to do that, though. If I didn't have the armor upgrades, I would not have survived that. Not at all. That was not a good move. What happened to you? Okay, let's try to split these guys up some more with the Sonic Shock. Ba no, that, I don't have the Sonic Shock battering yet. Man, I've been sitting in this chair for fucking four hours. Dear Lord. I like moved around in my chair a little bit and it was just so painful yeah it's not a good idea to stream this long but it's like it's such a good game it's just like i just i can't not play it it's just it's 
just such a compulsion. I need to keep playing it. It's just like not healthy. I'm like streaming just like unhealth an unhealthy habit. Just like <laughs> it's like no one should sit nonstop playing a game for four hours. That's not a good idea. You don't want to do that. It's like I'm playing fucking World of Warcraft or something. Oh shit. That guy saw me. Oh shit. Okay, I'm just gonna hide in here. Hopefully he didn't see me. Oh shit. No! Damn it! Oh damn it. I was like, ah, oh, he probably didn't see me. Ah! Oh, Little bats are sleeping. Shut the fuck up, Joker. I got so close. This is like the stream is really wearing me down. It's like making it so my skills at playing this game are just at their limit. <laughs> But I swear, I do not play games for like four hour sittings usually. <laughs> I swear. This time I'm not gonna do that inverted takedown bullshit. It looks like he's left you a gift up there. Yeah, it's just four guys. Like, yeah, and that guy, okay, well, he's like in an awkward position. I can't quite get him. Man down, over here. All right, do I want to... Oh, I'll take the, take the risk. They're not that close. They're a little far away. Yeah, I shouldn't get hit. Yeah, that time I didn't get shot up. Oh, and there's another one. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're clearing out the room. Catching, catching up a bit more. Man. All right, if only I had, like, the... If only I had, like, the twin battering upgrade. Ugh. It is what it is, though. I probably should have made it a little... Okay, now I, I can get him. There we go. Hollywood Purgatory says, Wolfie, can you talk to your contacts at Warner Brothers Discovery to get them to release the Scoob sequel co-written by Paul Dini? Yeah, like, I didn't like Scoob, but, like, then I heard Paul Dini co-wrote the sequel. And, like, I'm interested in seeing the sequel just because, you know, I like Paul Dini. All right, let's... Take it easy this time. Let's just land on him. There we go. Took care of it. All right. But I have no contacts at Warner Brothers Discovery. I wish I did. I could just sit, I could just berate them. Like, what are you guys doing? What is this bullshit you're doing? It's just like... Just the dumbest decisions I've ever seen like a streaming service make. All right. Hollywood Purgatory says Paul Dini wrote this game too. I know that. Don't worry. I, you know, I know that. I wish he wrote Arkham Knight because, like, the writing was just... You know, Arkham Knight is overall a good game, but, like... A lot of stuff was... You know, it's got a lot of issues. The tank battle stuff, and I feel like it was just a little more messy and sloppy compared... The first two games, it felt much more. Titan must be having a different effect. It just things. felt more Her plants are growing. tightly designed. Like I don't know. And also, the story and writing was just like just, just really bad. Like just nonsensical plot points. Just I don't know. <laughs> it's like just, are just was a bit of a downgrade. Gab. Oh, man. Gavin Elrod says, is Mystery Incorporated getting a third season? I wish. I would love a third season of Mystery Incorporated. But this is where I will call it a night, you know. Next episode, I will be facing Killer Croc. You know, that'll be that'll be fun. But I, I, if I get past the Killer Croc sequence, it'll get to a point where I might as well just beat the game tonight because, like, it's not a long game. So I got to leave some meat for the uh, next part. I'm probably going to end up beating the game in the second part. It's going to be it's probably going to be a two part series like the Jurassic Park game. But it, unlike with the Jurassic Park game, it was two parts because the game, I just was not having a fun time. And I was like, let's just get it over with. But with this game, it's like, I just want to keep fucking playing this game. It's so good. 
But Xavier the God has a super chat. WB only has enough money to release three movies this year. Well, that's sad. Um, yeah, maybe they should. Uh, maybe they should work out their financial situation. I guess. Um, besides just um, you know getting rid of the entertainment part because that's how they make the money. I, it feels a little weird that they're like getting rid of all their entertainment in order to save money when you know they should be making more entertainment that covers more bases that could make them more money. I don't know. It just feels like a little counterintuitive, but you know, it is what it is. All right. Now let me remind you guys that October has started early. You can get early access to the Halloween Kills Mega Review, my 50 minute review of the divisive Halloween sequel released last year. You know, if you want to get early access, it's going to be released next month at the start of October. But if you want early access, link in the description. Also going to have a movie night, a double feature of Texas Chainsaw 3D and Leatherface. So if you want to support the channel, get some bonus content and early access. Link in the description if you're interested. Going to be watching those two really bad movies tomorrow night. But I'm going to be making fun of them though, so there's that. I'd like to give a special thanks to my shout out tier supporters on my Patreon and my channel memberships for all of their support. It's greatly appreciated and it helps the channel grow and helps my dark influence spread, th spread throughout the world. Yeah, my videos would not be possible without all their help. Anyway, I've been Dr. Wolfula signing out. If you like this stream, like it, and if you loved it, click the subscribe button and especially the bell so you don't miss announcements of future streams. And also, you know, you follow me on social media at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and consider pledging to my Patreon if you want to support the channel some more. Patreon.com slash Dr. Wolfula. All right, I'm signing off. Hopefully next Saturday I will finish off Arkham Asylum, but if not, it just means I'm working on October. But don't worry, soon I will finish off Arkham Asylum, because this fucking game is fantastic. It's one of my favorites. And I'm so glad so many people joined me tonight. Good night. Have a pleasant... No, have pleasant screams. Oh, man, it's just been four hours. I'm just worn down. Oh, man. <laughs> pleasant screams, everybody. Oh, yeah, end screen. Hope you enjoyed this live stream. Why don't you watch another thing while I have your attention?